Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go. One, two, three, and new world champions, the Sports Dynasty Podcast. I'm Trevor. This is Juan, and we are the Sports Dynasty Tag Team Champions, ready to lay it down on latest SmackDown on anyone's candy asses who doesn't like it. Before we do that, like, share, subscribe. We're on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play Radio, uh, Stitcher Play Radio, at Podcast Dynasty on Twitter.com. And yeah, that's what we're doing here. So, I now know why the way that hmm. Triple H was with World Heavyweight Championship back in 04, where he used to just portray everybody and destroy everybody for that belt. I get it. I understand right. them now. I don't ever want to let go of this baby ever. So anybody with them briefcases, you better you better keep the briefcase to yourself. You better cash in on Trevor, but not cash in on me. No, cash on you me right either. now. You ain't getting this belt. Uh, I'll tell you right now. You better fuck. You better fuck go for the U.S. title. Get that bullshit out of here. Because God knows they need to. That title even exists. I know, right? Andrade had it for like uh, like a year. It feels like now. I don't even know when the fuck. What was it, Nakamura has it or something? Who, 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 the end of Conetto is vacant. <laughs> it's vacant. Oh, yeah, it's vacant. I think she got hurt or something, right? Yeah, Sammy Sammy Zane. This, I, I guess. I don't know what happened with Sammy, to be honest. He got, he got, he got stripped of the title. Like, the Black Panther got stripped. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of his surgery or... The corona or something. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it is. But he got vacant. Of the IC title. And now apparently AJ Styles is fighting for it to him. They're part of that little tournament thing. So I don't know what I don't know what's going on. I don't know how he just goes from more to smack. Why are you going from like the phenomenal one to the Euro Mid card guy? What? It happened before. He had the US before. So But he never had the IC title. Nah, they're probably gonna wind up giving it to him. Why not? Try to elevate it, elevate it, I guess. It's already buried. It's been I mean, buried for a very long since uh-huh. that last person that had it that was I took it seriously, I think was Seth Rollins. That was two years ago. And the Miz. And the Miz, yeah, like that's it. I don't be pay attention to it after that. Yeah. Before we get started, we have two special guests today. We're turning back to the Squared Circle podcast. Oh, it's been two minutes and we're doing that now. Oh well, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> we have Mr. Anthony Crecky on this side. Uh-huh. And we have my little brother Deontay returning back. To the podcast, anyway. And Heineken. Yeah, we he's drinking Heineken, and we have um cupcakes. Chocolate cupcakes for Memorial Day. I need a drink for today. I can't email one to you. Sorry. No, I have it. I just forgot to put it in the cup. I don't want to get up. You can go. Man, I don't care. It's fine. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Nah. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be mm. right back. Yeah. There you go. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. We in quarantine, man. I ain't editing this out either. I'm keeping it right here. Yeah, we must keep it on it. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Anyway, we could talk a little bit beforehand. Put my belt down real quick. Nobody else okay. see my belt. So, first things first. I mean, we'll talk about the, a- the AW pay per view in a minute. Double um, or the- nothing. 2020. Two. Um, part two, yeah, which is in front of nobody, but which I didn't see. I saw the first one, but I didn't see the second one. Uh, we'll just bring it. We'll see the highlights. Right. So we'll I'll watch the hey, highlights. there we go. He went, he went okay. sophisticated, though. Wine glass. <laughs> I like wine tasting. It's fun. Sophisticated, right. grown ass man. Hear that? All right, man. Come on, bro, right here. All right, so yeah, let's go. Um, Devontae, you have something to say, right? Or oh, Deontay, I'm sorry. We have, you have something to say, right? Yes. Go I ahead. Do. Just unleash now. So, you know how mm-hmm. Charlotte is the NXT Women's Champion yes. okay, for no reason? For no reason at all. I, I mean, wouldn't necessarily know reason. I think they're really trying to elevate the brand because they're in, you know, competition with AEW. So they're trying to get us actual woman yeah, star but, there. But I think I know where we're going with this. But I'm just saying, I don't know about no reason. But continue. There's no yeah. women's division in AEW. There's, there's just Riho, Britt Baker, yeah. Alan Rose, yeah, yeah, Awesome right. Kong, yeah. uh, um, um, uh, uh, Cody Rhodes' wife, Brandy, right? It's, it, it's their freaking, their, the women's division in NXT, in AEW is as 
non-existent as Roman Reigns screen time in WWE over the past couple of months. Shit. <laughs> what? Okay. okay. It's a good ass point. So, <laughs> right? She showed up on SmackDown. She showed up on SmackDown is trying to help start this feud between Sasha Banks and Bayley that they should just know how to do on their own. They just know how to do it on their own. And she's in the number one contender match to fight Oscar for the Royal Women's Championship. Wait, what, are you yeah, serious? Um, yeah. Um, 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 <laughs> Next, this, tonight, tonight, yeah, tonight, tonight, it's her, Natalia, and Nia Jax in the number one contender match for the Roman Championship. Well, why? Nia's going to win that, but I don't know why she's in it either. I don't understand that. You think you think that Nia Jax is winning that match? Yes, Nia's going to win something. that. They already something. started the Charlotte, feud between them. They're just going to be it. Charlotte Flair has two last names. You know what her second last name is? McMahon. She is Vince's McMahon. golden girl. She is Vince's golden child. They Vince, Vince, and you and you already saw it. WrestleMania 35. Becky wins Charlotte and Ronda Rousey. Charlotte did not need to be in that match. Vince right. played in that match. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Right, right, right. She didn't need to be Oscar for the title. She, she didn't. didn't. We Oscar. all revolted. Yeah. Right. Royal Rumble 2020. She didn't need to win that Royal Rumble. They could have had Shayna win that Royal Rumble. I mean, I mean, I was saying that before. I get why they gave it to her because the story makes it. It made it would make sense to her to go against. Uh, um, this girl, Rhea Ripley. I say that's the only way that would make sense if you want to make NXT a legitimate brand, a legitimate which, third brand, which legitimate they did. Brand, which they did. So hey, that makes sense. Now, do I agree? Now, now the answer what he's saying before I'm gonna go back on the end. I do agree what he's saying. Not even Nia Jax, but Natalia. Why is Natalia in this match tonight? Did she cut ass with twice by um by Shayna Baszler twice? Like I don't get it. Well, yeah. for one, I saw from other um medias that they're not going to push Shayna Baszler anymore. I don't think Vince likes her at all for some dumbass reason. I don't know why. But they're not pushing her. So that already takes out one talent alone. There's no one else that I can think of at the top of my head in Raw that will be even be even remotely close to be part of this. So that's probably why they threw in Charlotte, even though they're still stupid as hell. But I think that's why they threw her in. Nia Jax is going to win that match tonight because they already put the seeds for that feud. Doesn't mean it's going to be good, but she's going to win tonight. I think they put her in there just to have her there so people will actually tune in to watch the match because they have a big name. They're just using her name. That's what it is. But Nia Jax is going to win that match. I am 95% sure. I'm going to give it a 5% chance. What the fuck? Oh, that's her, right? I know. That's what she is. I know. Yeah, she's John Cena. She's literally John Cena. Yeah, that's what she is. I know. Yeah. She's really on the Super Cena... Playlist for who knows how freaking long. Like, man, it's yeah. just obsessed with her. I, I literally think that they dropped the ball in the women's division. No question. That, that's really what's going on. There's no storylines as much. Um, Sasha, she looks like she's just there for the money now. Bailey, I don't even know who Bailey is. Me neither. I thank you. I want to talk about that too. That Me neither. It it. It's done. I don't it's like done. her heel run. I don't like it. She's just there. Yeah, I don't want to know what she's we're trying to be. I don't yeah, get it. And then the quarantine made it worse now because you don't even know what the fans want anymore. Like, you think it was bad before? Now it's like, oh, we're going to just throw whatever we want on TV. It's my thing because, and Vince said this in the shareholders meeting. He said, we're going to just, basically, they're taking advantage mm-hmm. of the fact that there is no crowd. Yeah. Taking advantage of the fact that they're the only thing on TV right now is a sports comeback. Then just keep this in mind, too. If you give Vince that kind of platform, Vince is not going to do it to his vision. He's no longer trying to sell you. He's like, you're going to come regardless of Because I'm the only thing on TV. So, yeah. This is how low dirty he has gotten. And when you watch AEW, I'm like, yo. I'm hooked to AEW. It's oh, hard yeah. to watch the WWE for more than 10 minutes. It's good. It's good. They got guys there that eventually they're going to become superstars. And, and I'm excited to see it. Like the pay-per-view, bro. Double up you fire. I don't want to pay for it. I'm cheap as shit. Because I don't, don't want to pay, pay for it. Watch it on wrestling. Well, I shouldn't even be putting this out. Yeah, but don't do that. Don't do that. We'll, yeah, we'll talk. But, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got I got I don't want to pay for that. Hell no. That's but what I'm saying. I, I if, if I could watch it for free, I'm all in. 
No pun intended. No pun intended. I'm all in. Uh, but nah, bro, I don't want to pay for this. That's why. And they use their superstars as the crowd. That's brilliant. I don't even know why WWE hasn't done that. You guys have like 500 freaking superstars. You can make a whole crowd out of that. I wonder if it's because since the wrestlers run things in AEW, I wonder if that's the difference. You know what Probably, I mean? Yeah, I think it is. Because I think they have no the- wrestlers in WWE creative. It's oh. none. So but I it's wonder if his thing- wrestlers, since Cody and them are running it there, I wonder if that's why everything clicks so easily in AEW rather than WWE. But the wrestlers also have a they have a relationship with the, with the fans. If I go on Twitter and I'm getting a response and I'm a heel and I see there's certain things that they're picking up at, I'm like I can bring that to a show. In WWE, you can't do that. The creative has to come up with with the concept of what they perceive the fans are thinking. I don't even think they even look at what the the, the fans are saying. You can literally like play chess with them, so they don't even. Try. I, I I've seen certain things with Cody Rhodes, and then Cody Rhodes will bring to to like a live TV show, and I'm like, oh. Cody's listening. Cody's like, oh, they're, they're thinking me this way. Let me throw him a speech to respond back to them. It, it worked. You're like, oh, shit. Like, he cares. Kind of old school. That's what they used to do back in the day, 20 years ago. That's what I'm saying. Western kind of wrestling it's, it's, it's cool. That's what I like. They respond, literally respond to the fans. You hear something for what they're chanting, and you go attack or you support. Whatever, right. you know, whatever you heal or your face, whatever you are. That's how it was back in the day. That's why everybody's so charismatic back in the day. The Rock, Jericho, and all them. They used to, whatever they felt, they get way went right after it. Versus now, yeah. they don't do that anymore. And that's, that's at all, no. But the fans don't care anymore. It's not the fans don't care anymore. But it's not the fans don't care no more. Like, Vince and them hasn't really given the fans anything to care about. You know, which is a stupid, stupid logic is going on. It's like, yo, why do we care anymore? That, I, I mess with this. The kids, the fans do care. They know for sure that the hardcore fans are still going to be there. They, no right. matter what, they, they can give them shit and they're, they're still going to support it regardless of the fact that they like it or not. They know that they're not going anywhere. It's the casual fans. It's the casual fans, the ones that used to be who are gone now. Well, but that's interesting, casual, though. Casual fan base takes up a half of WWE's fan base. No, it takes more. That's every every business, every sports thing. Casual fans is the one that makes them uh, gives them the money. It's not the hardcore. There's gonna be more casual than there are hardcore in anything. Yeah, it's gotten so trash to a point where there's certain hardcore fans. My father is a hardcore wrestling fan, and he cares. He doesn't care about wrestling anymore. The only reason he cares about it is because I care about it, and I force him to watch it with me because I don't oh, want to watch that. That's very right? nice of him. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you. That's I'm not a about, big, yeah. I'm not a big fan of AEW. I don't see what the hype is all about. I'm not a big fan of AEW, hmm. right? Because they just gave me a bad impression the first time I watched it. It was just nothing but botches, botches every match, and I'm like, y'all, come on, bro. How professional are y'all? If y'all botch <laughs> but you have to remember that a lot of those, a lot of those um people in AEW have never been on a big stage like that where. Most of them are from indie wrestlers. Most of them from small, com- com- and small um, promotions and young. So they haven't had that WWE type of of, of of training where you know where camera spots are or why certain things are important or being around a big a big audience like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's really difficult for a lot of them. So a lot of them haven't been in that stage, so it's raw to them. And I like, bet a lot of them now are a lot better. I haven't seen it in yeah, months. Uh, I bet yeah, a lot of them now... Watching. Like, one of the wrestlers that caught my eye was Darby Allen, like, uh, months ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, Darby, I looked Darby, at Darby. him. I, I bet he's a fucking beast now. Because he was a little raw, like, back on Washington, what, October, November? I bet now in May, that dude is ridiculous. I bet. And I, 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 I saw something in him in the first time I saw him. See, I might I just... like that. Just pay-per-view. Bro, I'm saying that I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. definitely what Trevor's saying. I definitely... I, I see where he's coming from. Because when I was watching, I'm like... And any more seasoning, but what 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 Lenny bought in is the people that they bought in, the JRs, the Billy Guns, the fact that Jericho joined the team, because you know that these guys are they're gonna need some time to develop. Mm-hmm. Like right now, like this double or nothing was better than the last double or nothing, way better because they understand now the game. I think it's been like what a year, almost a year, a year now. That I think exactly doing? a yeah. year. Like see the growth, and the thing is that they're willing to take risks. I don't feel like they're the easiest to risk anymore. And that's why it's hard to watch the product because 
when they brought in like Matt Hardy, I thought they were gonna like all right have the Matt Hardy gimmick that he has with the delete and obsolete and all yeah. that, right? They found a way to, to to now make it its own thing. So Matt Hardy now actually has like it's almost like what I'm watching TNA Impact with Matt Hardy. Now. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. Even what they're doing with Luke Gallows, it's like I don't even know who the hell that guy is anymore when I see him now. He's the I think he's the what is it the the what the hell is it called? I don't know. I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit. But it's it's different. They are finding a way to take these other you guys that also come out from that have that experience and give them exactly the character that fits them, not with just some guy that perceives of them. And that's big. That's huge. Yeah, because look at Luke Harper, guys, who just fought for the so championship. Who they, they let go? Like I, I always knew he was so talented. I always like Luke yeah. Harper from the White Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. always. Yeah, those those was like a thing where like he's making fun of this and man. He's like literally insulting anybody. Like dude, it it you could watch these clips on, on, on YouTube and you'll be like, I don't even know that he could act. And then maybe he's just a guy that he's like a bodyguard or whatever. He he's Brody hard. Lee is his name by the way, guys. If y'all yeah, didn't know. Yeah. Brody yeah. Lee. Brody yeah, Brody Lee. Lee. Yeah, That's I, Luke I, Harper. Yeah. It's good. It's I think good. that at some point though, he might have to take it up another notch. It might have to get a little bit more cynical. I, I get it. Of, like you can think it definitely like the the Bray Wyatt of AEW, but better. They can pull that off. They can definitely pull that off. They want if they want to go that route. They definitely pull it out. I can see that. I think they the issue. They could bring in Rusev and actually. That's, that's gonna be a problem because he's so fucking talented, dude. I if love he goes like Rusev. That's a massive problem. Right. He's too good. Oh, Trevor. Corey, oh. Thinking Vince has to go, you know what? I can't keep all the talent. And AEW can go in there and actually start hiring some really good talent. That's and it's going to bring up the wild. It's already happening, rather. Trevor. Yeah, and it's, I'm telling you something, it's good. Watch Double or Nothing. You're going to be like, you're going to be impressed. It's going to be really good stuff. I think I think a lot. Of, I think what a lot of folks say about AEW when they say that, oh, that, oh, it's, 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 it's bringing old WWE people in there because. They say, oh, why don't they struggle their own talent? The problem is, is that not everyone knows who a lot of those AEW stars, unless you're a hardcore wrestling fan who follows the indies, you don't know who most of these people are. Secondly speaking, people say, oh, you're bringing in WWE guys. So how is it any different than WWE? Of course it's different. Oh, 100% standard. different. What? The, first of all, WWE is <laughs> standard, right? And like I said before, the people who are in WWE, they know exactly how, how TV positioning works. How being on the national stage, being around bigger, bigger people, being around bigger audience and everything is different. So you're probably right. You're probably right. Um, the season, um, as after a year goes, after being there a full year, they pretty much are fine. We we know what they need to do now. Now, now I may add, they do need to fix their women's division. They need to fix it. Yeah, they don't have one at all because it's it's not good. It's not good. And but you know, I think. They will benefit having somebody like you know I don't know who, somebody like like if Gail Kim if Gail Kim was to come to AEW which I don't think she's done wrestling now who was that Gail Australian Kim, girl that kept getting kicked out in and out of WWE that had talent Emma, uh, what if they get uh, her what what imagine they get her right Neil Dashwood she's really good she's really good. Uh, she she had to take like almost a year off, like it was bad. She had like all these scars, leprosy touches. It was kind of weird. She's kind of hot too, by the way. But, very, yeah. very hot. Very hot. <laughs> it, it, it was good. I mean, they were gonna make her into like you. You see the the who this chick that came back that she went against uh, Lana. For, like, a quick Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Yeah, Liv Morgan's gimmick was supposed to be her gimmick. But she didn't like that gimmick. She didn't want to come off like a stable type diva type woman. Okay, I get it. So okay. She said no, but he was like, oh, then you don't want to comply. And there was problems. There was that, that conflict of interest where they were like, no, nah, like, you don't want you to run your own character. She wanted to do her own thing without having to use her beauty. You ain't no but, dog that we's not the place for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the place for that. AEW yeah, is. Awesome. Yeah. She should go there. She wants to wrestle. She should go there. The money top. I mean, not um, one person. We have one person because they still they still have tons and tons of work on that women's division. 
I highly doubt that one veteran diva is going to change that. No, I'm, I'm saying, but it's a start. It's a start. You have somebody with that experience from, from WWE that can, you know, can, can show and them. And then the I will argue this. How good is the women division in WWE now anyway? It wasn't like it was three years ago. Three years ago, it was popping. It was so ever, 300 times better than a men's division. It was so good. You could argue, I, I don't know if it was 17 or 18, it carried WWE, the women's division. Now it, it, it sunk. Team. So how much better is it now? You think they think you, a high, get a, a higher or two won't be able to go over? Yeah, Anthony? Anthony. I'm saying it feels like the... the after, and it's weird because I was there to watch it. After WrestleMania, WrestleMania 35, it yeah. felt like everything just went downhill. Like, mm, that's fair. Yeah. Like, I, can't, I, can't, I can't push them that hard. Because she took a whole lot of the Rousey box, the way that she that she lost to um to Becky Lynch. Yeah. I was like, oh, the women can't really hold it down. Because when they were given the opportunity, they kind of messed it up. That that was, was, I, mean, the event was I think so now... It's awkward. I think now, if you think about it, I think you, you made a good point. I think after WrestleMania 35... But that main event, I think you started to see a lot of overexposure for the women now. It's like now it's like you they yeah. made a big deal talking about oh, first time this, first time that. Evil evolution, the evolution pay-per-view was 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 not good. It was not a good pay-per-view at all. It was not good at all. And it was all it was just constant chains. It was just constant change. You had you had um uh you had um Naomi versus Bailey. No, you you no, you had Lacey Evans versus Natalia at a Saudi Arabia show, I think. Right, and it was like, oh, we finally let women fight in Saudi Arabia, and it was such this big moment. It was all over the news. Then you had that match, and it was like, yo, bro, y'all dropped the ball big time. The match, the ending was a botch. Yeah, the ending was a botch, and not, and not just that. Just keep in mind that in the last year or two years, I, what I've been watching is this: is it's been more of a gimmick thing. They throw in yeah. whatever they have to say, like like Trevor was saying, first this, first that. It was sort of like when Trish Stratus came back to fight Charlotte. That was kind of weird. It was a good ass match. It was a good but match. But the fact that you had to get Trish to get in a pay per view just to get eyes back on your on your it's kind of like with the men big... when they bring back yeah. Undertaker for like a match from as a random for no reason to bring back all these yeah. legends and shit. Like why? Like you got and good then, enough people. Why are you bringing these old men back? So I guess it's the same difference. Exactly. It just sucks because the women have finally been given opportunities for the last four years. But now, all of a sudden, it's like we, we put everything on steroids, and now they burnt out with the same thing that happened with the men's division 20 years later. And what it, they're also it, doing it, to me it, is they're using the same four girls. That's the biggest right. problem to me. Why do you keep pushing the same four girls you've been pushing since, what, 2015? See, it's what, been no, five you, years. Do you got oh. other women there? Why the same four? It's like the one. <laughs> the one well, girl. Because the only thing that after the whole thing with Sasha happened, is, is she's not even relevant. She's not true. Yeah, it. true, true, true. And it's creepy. I don't know if they're building it up to her to be like... Uh, to she's going to turn like, off. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's they're building it up for too long. It's been like, what, six months? It's low-key been I'm like two really, years. I'm my, my focus on <laughs> Low key. God bless you with damn energies, bro. Yeah, um this is what this is what's wrong with WWE. WWE doesn't oh, want answer. to build they don't want to build people anymore. They don't want to build characters, they don't want to take time and actually build people up. Cause you have prime talent just sitting and catering. Ember Moon was a beast as NXT women's champion. You bring her to the main wow. roster. And I will I will defend them on this. She gets hurt a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's the okay. biggest problem. Cause I agree with you. Cause I thought about, but she does. I think she still are bring some type of like soldier, 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 or arm injury. I don't know what it is. But she's been hurt a lot. So I don't blame them for that one. But I, I feel I feel you though. If you think about it, if you think about it, you can say the same thing on Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks, she's unreliable. She's very unreliable. She always getting hurt. Always getting hurt. You know, when they, when they try to push her to, like, you know. Drama queen. And, and she's very problematic, too, at times. Like, you can tell she's that she's very problematic. The freaking Scotty Pimpin of the women's freaking division. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but see, this is the thing, right? You have other women, right? Now, they might, they not, be, they might not be freaking studs like freaking um Charlotte, 
but y'all can do something with them. Hi, Vin I, Morgan. I've been watching. That's a good one. I like her. This I've been watching very hot, hot, but I like her. She's, she's fire. She's fire. I've seen her ring skills. My dad is brought in trouble. Don't she's think that she can cut it. But I'm like, yo, it's better than what we got now. I'm t- I'm honestly tired of seeing Charlotte. I've seen her too much over the past couple of years. She's about to be a triple crown champion because she's gonna hey! win. Hey! hey, look at little look man. At him. Hey, he <laughs> like who the fuck are these people? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> he loves wrestling. By the way, oh, she's yeah? going. Oh, I can't wait yeah. to bring him on, man. Let Back. Speak. She's gonna be a triple crown champion. She's going to win the SmackDown yeah. Championship because at yeah. some point, three, I'm calling it right now, Trevor <laughs> already called it. SummerSlam is going to be Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Charlotte for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's already cemented. I say that because I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to get Charlotte to get all three of those titles all at once by the end of the year and say, fuck it, she has all You know, that's them. basically going to be the end of the women's division, right? If that happens. I agree. My thing is she already done very the women's division. You heard her promo on NXT? She said she beat, she said, oh, I beat Trish. Beat Trish, she came back. I beat her. I've beaten Bayley. I've won the SmackDown Women's Championship. I won the Royal Women's Championship. She's basically buried the entire women's division. And she buried NXT's women's division. Because my thing is, bro, you doing all this stuff, but you can't beat small ass Io Shirai? Or Bayley. Listen, yeah. <laughs> or Bailey, or Bailey. But my thing is, oh, that's another thing, right? See, in WWE, it's selling. Selling is a big point of WWE. You gotta sell, okay? You gotta know how to react. Did you see Charlotte's reaction when Bailey cheated? You're supposed to be angry, right? She smiled. She grinned like she didn't care. How? how why? Why? You don't know how to sell, Charlotte? That was See, terrible. You, just, you, just, you have to know how to sell. You basically done buried. You be, Like, come on. You're burying everybody. You don't know how to sell. You don't want to take a fall for nobody. You don't want to put anybody up. Bro, you don't need it. So, is that your hated, most hated wrestler right now? Right now, I hate Charlotte. It kind of sounds I, like it. I, I hate Charlotte. What's He's up? Oh, uh, Kyrie Irving? <laughs> but I hate Charlotte with a passion. And my thing is, I've never been a Charlotte fan. Even when she was in NXT, I can't deny her skills. She's a beast. But I've never liked her. Right? I was always I a Becky that. Lynch fan. I've always liked Becky Lynch, even when she was the Irish last kicker. And when she turned heel and she became the man, that's yeah, probably the, the biggest moment right. in her career. Yeah. Charlotte looks like an improper fraction. But I, I think... <laughs> she's like, what? Say it, what's that? She's like, what? Where? My sister said she looks like an improper fraction. I'm dead. <laughs> she said she looks like Wendy Williams. Wow, that's horrible. horrible. Right? But still, come on. Right? There's other women, and she doesn't want to take a fall for it. She doesn't want to take the fall. She doesn't want to push anybody up. Right? Then you got Shayna Baszler, a beast, a savage, two-time NXT Women's Champion, just a like Charlotte. Fighter. Yeah, right. And That's actually, supposed to be like the Brock Lesnar of women, right there. Exactly, but no, they don't want to push her. Right? They let her. They let Becky Lynch beat her at WrestleMania. See, now this is the thing, right? Me and Trevor was talking about it. She was pregnant when she was fighting at WrestleMania. She was, yeah. She was pregnant when she was fighting at WrestleMania, mm-hmm. right? No, I, she didn't know. That's she the thing. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's the first. She didn't know like, she was story, pregnant, yeah. right? She found out afterwards, right? So my thing is. If there was she anybody that deserved that title, you give it back to Asuka, somebody who can't speak English. Oh, no, 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 hold, 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 hold up. What he was to say was can't speak English properly to market it to other fans. But, 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 but to keep it real, though, she's probably yeah. the best wrestler out of everybody around, though, low key. So we all right. like, yeah, I don't he, hate it. You give her that. But my thing is LeBron James. When you're a champion, <laughs> when you're a champion, <laughs> you gotta be like, like. And my thing is, see, this is the thing, and this is what they should have started doing with uh, with Oscar, right? Okay. The promo with Io Shirai on NXT, they put subtitles. 
they should just put subtitles for Asuka. I thought that was kick ass. That was awesome. Like she could say whatever the hell she wants. Just have subtitles on. Have subtitles. And, and she was, could, exactly. I didn't like, even oh, know oh, that was she, a thing. She's talking, she's talking right now. They put subtitles. Yeah, um, they had subtitles. Why don't they do? You right? Why don't they do that for? That's what I'm that would be so good for, for, um, for no, Kyrie no, saying, no, "What the fuck?" She's you saying right. she's talking all this shit in Japanese, and I'm like, "Yo, bro." She yeah, she be talking like right wow shit. Like, yo, that's, that's probably right good now. stuff. Where is the subtitles? You're right. And another thing, another thing too. You, you, can, if you, if you want to play the um um. That's that. That's, that's a good idea. I know she be cussing the hell out of these people out. Right, she does. Right. Exactly. I'm not gonna, I was gonna say that. That was racist, and that's the first thing popped in my head when he said that. But you know that's still cool though. That is is cool. You know what it is? You want to have that somatic kill bill type of. Dialogue that you know how they was they was OD on the on the dialogue and, and killed Bill Volume One and Two. So why not do it? I think that would have been bad ass. It's a kid's show. That's so the problem. Put asterisk Still on great. The fucking the shit is that? <laughs> <laughs> like this? Come on. So, exactly. No, nah, they, I mean, and they hardly curse anyway. Like the the most they say was like ass, damn. They say bitch a couple of times, but come on. And at the end of the day, the generation of kids right now, they know every freaking curse in a book. Oh, yeah, so I know but don't tell six. that to Ben. He doesn't know that. <laughs> he barely he barely interacts with the fans. He doesn't know what's going uh, on. Uh, all right, but it's, I was six and I knew it. So like that's a fact. come on, bro. That's I'm a, I'm a, I'm exactly. editing that out. But yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll put the dolphin there, but yeah. But yeah, I knew well, that was. So I don't want to hear that bull. Like, come on, uh, whatever. But but you're right. They should totally do that for her. That would make her better because pe- people will understand what she's saying. They will be able to connect better with her. Exactly. Because I'm, I'm, she's probably and, and, and honestly, she's probably saying some real. She's probably saying some real stuff. If you if you think yeah. about it, if you think about it, besides Charlotte, besides Charlotte, Becky Lynch to a certain extent, but Asuka... You could say, besides Charlotte, is one of the most declarated women on their roster. Uh, what she's accomplished. She won the Royal Rumble. She won the Money in the Bank. She's a multiple-time champion. It's even bigger than that. It's also internationally. Remember where she got her name from in Japan, kicking yeah, ass. Exactly Japan. So why, again, like this? they're so dumb. Like, she's an international superstar in wrestling, so why not use her? What took you so long? It's like, well, right. come on. See, and... Uh, and, and, and uh, it's true. It's true. And you know what? It is. I'm, like, I'm telling you, me, Deontay, all four, all four of us, if you wanted to, we could do general manager mode on 2K19, 2K20, and pick better storylines than they're doing right now. Seriously, come on, it's making sense. Vince should call we, us up. Fuck out of so here. My phone is made that right here. Thing. We had a pay per view. We had a pay per view called Ladies Night in 2K. And you know what's crazy? A couple months later, Evolution comes out. And it's it crazy. Was, and it was trash. And it was trash. Like, come and on. it was trash. <laughs> they don't know. See, they don't know what they're doing anymore. They don't it's know really how to like, handle superstars like, that now. like they did back in the day. See, when you had you had John Cena and, and, and Edge and Christian and the Hardy Boys and all this, you had all these good wrestlers and you know what to do with them. But half the time, they were just doing their own thing. You know well, what's funny about what he's saying? At that time, it was considered the dark ages of wrestling. Cause that's like eleven and twelve ish. Cause Christian was there with Randy Orton like eleven, right? Yeah, were, yeah. yeah eleven. That was considered the dark ages, because no, cause all the Attitude Era stars left. Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, pretty much left at that point. Undertaker was like once a year. Kane was doing his thing little by little. That was the dark ages, and he's not wrong though. What he's saying though, Christian, Randy Orton, John Cena, Cena, Punk. That's a nice big four, low key. Right. That, that's pretty good. I mean, they never give Christian what he deserved. Like, look, like they only give him the, the, the what, two title reigns, and one of them yeah. won by bullshit. Like, like they, they did disrespect Christian, but, but the other I mean, three, like that's anyway. good. Now it's like, who the fuck, bro? Like I killed off Rollins, low key. So like, so who's left? Roman is not there. So who's left? Roman who's left? Don't get me wrong. Huh? I'm froze. I think he's there. Don't get me yeah, wrong. He's there. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. No, nah, but you still right. Yeah, you know. But unfortunately, Christian was at the end of his career. So how much that's can you get for a year old guy? You know. I mean, they do have some people there, but it, it just, it's just it's just a strange time. It really is weird to watch wrestling, especially with the whole coronavirus. So there's a lot of stuff going on besides just, man, where's the talent? 
they do have the talent, but some of them can't even go out. Like Roman Reigns got the whole thing with what is it, leukemia? Roman yeah, Reigns played himself. No, no, no. They, it was, they, uh, they got the pissed at him. Immunodeficiency, because he he went through uh, chemo, or whatever. His immune is not as strong as everybody else's because of all the stuff he went through. So you know, he's, he, he could get, get it quicker that, than everybody else. They don't even talk about Roman Reigns. They literally just like they acting like this dude doesn't exist. It's, it's pretty messed up. I think like, he I really think they're, they're, pissed, they're pissed with him. They're really pissed with him. I think I think which that is they, and, and like but they which is it. asinine. It's asinine. Yeah, it's dumb. But like, like, like see. The thing that got me mad. Have an autoimmune disease disorder. Like that's not your fault. You know he has to take care of his wife, his kid. I think he has. A, I think his wife is pregnant again. Like I think he just had a kid. On, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, he had. Just yeah, twins. Yeah, right. Yeah, twins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's just dumb. It's like you're. Like, a, what the fuck you expect? Word. He he literally came. He actually rushed this process. That has to be able to come back to wrestle. He didn't have to come back. He I think it was it nine months. No, yeah, he it wasn't even a year. It wasn't a year. Yeah, it's crazy. Like usually after chemotherapy, you need some time to recover. You could tell that that's like a toll on him. I mean, I, I think it's a good by him. There's not much going on. His viewership went down. What can you do? They're just basically doing these shows just to do these shows because they got to pay up money to keep that licensing going. Because a lot of it is now become about the, the dollar bill. It has a, It's not even about the show no more. Low key, I feel like it's always been about dollar bill for like probably a decade. Oh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, because once they went IPO, that's it. It's about your shareholders. That's who they listen to. All right, they gave us two million dollars. We got to keep them happy. Yeah, that's what it is. If, if the fans own the shares. Yeah, the park will look a lot more like how we want. But that's the problem with being an IPO. True. But what y'all think about the no crowds now? Cause I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate it that much. I kind of nah. like when they shoot promos. There's nobody there, and I kind of like it because I think for the past two years, I felt yeah. like the fans were a little too ridiculous and never gave right. most people the respect they kind of deserve. Like there's some promos that were actually pretty good, but they just wouldn't want to hear it because of the guy that was saying it. Like, for example, when Seth Rollins was, was um, shooting some stuff as a face before he turned heel, they weren't trying to hear it. Sometimes no. Roman will actually, for once, put up a good promo, and they won't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. people like that will say something, and they didn't want to hear it. And I didn't appreciate they, that. They'll do, they, like, the uh, what chant, the what, what, what chant with Stone Cold. Why the fuck, bro? Stone Cold, why? They I hate dropped, that shit. This, there, was a perfect, there was a perfect thing that they could have done. And me and Trouble, when me and Trouble was watching the last ride thing, and when Roman beat Undertaker, that Monday night after that WrestleMania, Absolutely. and he was getting booed, and he said, "This is my yard now." That was perfect, and he should have turned heel. They should have just turned Roman Reigns heel. I'm not they even, him to be I'm a you put that so bad. I have a I have a I have a topic now about this heel and face thing. Because we've been saying for years, right, that John Cena should turn heel and Roman Reigns should turn heel. Let's talk about this right now. Do you think, especially for Roman, would he be really be a good heel? Would he? My thing is, you don't need to. The crowd already hates you. That doesn't mean anything. The um, the crowd has, has been known to sway the um character, the character development so many times. Like, for instance, how many times... How they had the Miz turn face, and he said, "No, Miz, this is not working. This is not working. No, we're not feeling this whatsoever." That's they, what I'm have- saying. So for Roman's sake, he he doesn't have good mic skills. For you to be a baby face, that's almost a must. You need yeah. to be good in the mic to be a baby face. He's not, right? So, so that goes. That's good for them, right? But as a heel, it's almost it's pretty close though. Like you could do despicable things, but when you look at him, does he look like? A despicable guy to you? I mean, he did when he was in the shield. But you know why that happened? Because he was the brute. He was the brute bodyguard. He was a yeah. guy that dude that was the muscle. But I don't if, think he can carry that. That's what I'm saying. But outside of that, would it work? I don't think so. I think he needs to be a baby face, to be 100% honest. I mean, Unless if, he gets a mic. If he gets a mic, meaning like a Paul Heyman to speak for him... I think that or he he would literally have to be a Samoan Brock Lesnar for him to be a heel, and that's the only way it would work out for him, in my opinion. I think but, he has, I think him being a face is fine. Um, Anthony, yeah, it can work. 
but you have to throw away the Roman Reigns gimmick. And what I mean by that is change the music. You're going to have to okay. change the persona. You have to go like, you know what? That person you, you seen, I'm not Roman. I'm Joseph now. Oh. And I'm going to get revenge back on the authority because you okay. try to put it. You see, like, they can literally take exactly what they did in the real world and bring it here and be like, I'm back. And that's why I'm exactly why I mentioned this. Because I watched a video on YouTube about the best versions of Seth Rollins because it interests me. And they right. said they kept going towards heel Rollins because that was probably the side of Rollins that's most, like, real. Yeah. That's most real life. So yeah. that's why it made me think about Roman and John Cena and people like that. It's like, hold up, though. I'm pretty sure they're really nice people outside of life. So, I'm outside, in life, I'm sorry, in life. So I'm like, if they're really that nice of guys, wouldn't it be more better to have them on one side that's more authentic to them? Since they're more good people, I think WWE actually had it right. Not to say they booked booked Roman correctly. They did not book Roman correctly. Wrong. Yeah. They're wrong. But I right. think they had the right idea. They just had the execution wrong. That's what I think. But I think right. Roman is too good of a person. I don't think he could portray a heel unless if he stays shut. That's my point. But what Anthony said, though, I like what you said, though. To change it into Joe instead of right. Roman. I like that, though. Maybe it, maybe depending on what yeah. they do with that could work. It could be an anti-hero. And, and, because the whole thing is this. If I'm a superstar and uh, you don't want to bring up my name, you're pissed at me for what I for, for taking the choice I did. That's fuel. You do the interviews that you used with Triple H. You see how much gets worried and say, oh, remember when you said that about me? Can't even say my name? Can't even be a man? Like, yeah, I can literally see how that can play out. And literally, like, yeah. all the house and be like, I'm going to just violate. I'm going to go, I'm going to go. If you got me on contact, that's what you need to do. Fortunately, I'm, I'm going to get you back for that disrespect. You know, like, I, I could see it play if, if they want to go that route. They have all the ammunition. It could be really, really good. Then Not if they be. change them, though, like you said. And I ain't going to do that shit. But it's too late now. That's all I hear. It's too late now. I'm sorry it's too late now because like i'm pretty sure roman and WWE are on bad terms right now anyway so he's probably not coming back so no, i think he's, i think he's coming back because he's still getting paid his money fella this doesn't like losing money he's gonna use him this is the guy that they were trying to throw in our face for six years they're gonna throw him out from because he wants to protect his life no, it's no. not that. It's not that. No, come on, bro. Jeez. Come on, son. If he, he if, it, imagine, no, 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 son. Like, no, they, they can't. They can't afford to lose someone like Roman. Like, fuck uh, everything he did in the WWE. Imagine, like, say, if he they do that dumb shit and then he goes to the other brand. Pine you, they'll have two out of the three Shield members, by the way, in the AEW. Yeah, that happens. That would be the end, bro. See, my thing is, it wouldn't. It wouldn't even matter, because even if he does work, Mike skills. He's, like he's still garbage with Mike. John Moxley and Roman Reigns. Yeah, John Moxley and Joe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he's not a freaking Roman. He's Joe. And that's it. And now Joe is like this gangster trying to get back his revenge because they took. They just suspected his name. It, bro. He got three million people. That, those are eyeballs that are not on AEW. Imagine that he goes there, right? And that he has to go up against Jake Hager, bro. Him and Jack Ooh. Swagger. Oh, that, my God. Good. Ooh. It good. <laughs> it, 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 of rain. Power. Power. Oh, 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 but they, they I, I think at some point, we'll make his money. We'll make his money. Is, but W is dumb. Because they done... They done Lost so many people to AEW because come on, y'all released definitely people. know that y'all released EC3. EC3 is too good of a wrestler, he's going to AEW. I'm not gonna lie, I've never good. seen him wrestle before. I have no idea what the fuck he does. He's good, when, he's, when he's, he's, good. he's super beat. That's all I know. See, my thing is, I don't like his like, I, I just look at him, I could just look at him and I can see, like, yo, this dude right here, he looks like a good heel. 
And people have been saying that, oh, a team between him and MJF would be pure gold right there. Because MJF. I'm not going to lie, actually, would though. MJF is one of the greatest heels in AEW right saying. now. They so, both look like big, brolic douchebags that most men want to kill because they have the look, they have the physique, and they can bag any girl that they want. So just from those two as three aspects alone, they are yeah. probably the best tag, heel tag team. I, I agree with you 100%. I agree 100%. Cuz the, the the promo that MJF pulled, he did a promo um well it was before like he had, he was fighting in the cage match with somebody, right? It was cage match between some dude I don't remember, right? But he freaking he he made a pun to to Enzo Amore's Phoenix song, and I thought that was funny. I thought that was really funny. He said, "I still, it, it still arrives like a phoenix," and I thought that was funny. I thought that was very, very clever. I hated Enzo Mori so much, but you I can't hated deny. that team so you much. You couldn't deny hate him, but you can't deny him. he could talk on the mic. Oh yeah, I, was, I, I, I thought he should be the manager. As a wrestler, he was just ass, ass dog shit. I'm like, as a mic though, like he should have been fucking um Big Cass's manager, and they could have done shit together. Uh, that's what I thought they should have did. Damn. Bro, yeah, it could have been the modern FBI. Right? It probably could have been. You're right. That, that was taking even to another level. Because the whole thing was with that old, with the other faction was that they were like the Italian. Enzo was just straight up, yo. Just straight up crazy in his mouth. Honestly, I kind of miss him. I'm surprised he's not AEW. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. He, he, he's problematic. <laughs> He's problematic. He causes too many problems. Remember he when he, he invaded the WWE pay per view like last year? I think it was. Yeah, yeah. The like, <laughs> Robert Series two years ago. He, he did that dumb shit. He would not that last. Was he's a problematic superstar, and he causes too many problems. And he will get a lot of. He had to be so quickly. wasted in that pay per view. He had to be gone. <laughs> Like, more gone than me and Trevor combined. Like, he had to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, but, that's, a, that's a horrible but, thing to see, see, too, man. But, I um, know. I don't know. <laughs> that shit's crazy. But to, 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 the, um, the, um, to piggyback on what um, you said before about authenticity, right? Yeah. How, how we, nobody knows if John Cena or Roman Reigns would have been good at heels anyway. Hulk Hogan, the reason why his heel turn was so successful because that's how you actually feel like he's an asshole. Bro, Hulk Hogan outside of wrestling is a, is a real asshole. No so, question. So, and the crazy thing is that, you know, he, he, he spoke about it, he spoke about it in other in other um, well, interviews, no. interviews and everything. Well, Stone Cold Same, Sessions. Uh, what happened? Okay, we're back, I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember what we were talking about. I forgot already. Yeah, I was saying. Yeah, oh, I was talking about Hulk Hogan. How Hulk Hogan's thing was so um authentic. How it's it authentic because it, it segue because he was really an asshole in real life. He was. So I mean, it is, made, sorry, that is my bad. <laughs> I mean, he was an asshole back then. He looks the time like an at, an, at the time. No, he, he, still has, he still is. Yeah. I hate that dude so much. Don't get me started. <laughs> I'm such a selfish nah, piece of shit. The crazy thing is that. It was a uh, a lot of his agent was saying that he turned him here really and Hulk Hogan, not realizing that you could give him an extra six seven years of relevance, but his character Hollywood character. So like it, it can be done, it can be done, but it's all about we should base these real life people characters with how they are in real life. Saying hey, the Miz is an asshole in real life. It makes sense. Which then goes into the Undertaker, for example. That's a good example for it. Because the reason why he's able to do the same thing for 30 mother trucking years, he did his whole Lord of Darkness thing, you know, undead, whatever. Then in 2000, he turned to himself as a wrestler for three years. Then he went back to his thing, to his whole Lord of Darkness, whatever, zombie, whatever thing. And then now it's looking like he's going back to himself. It's a breath of fresh air. Since they're putting in what he actually is, he can last longer. So that's why authenticity, it should be a kind of a key to what a wrestler actually is. If he is himself, he'll care more. He will put in, he or she will put in more. And they'll be just better. Because they don't have to act. They're themselves. You don't act like you don't act like yourself. You just are yourself. So that's the only reason why I'll say about Cena, I don't think he could really turn heel at that, especially at that point either. 
I don't think he's a bad guy. I think he's actually a very nice man. So it's kind of hard for him to be to act like a dick. He can because he's a good, he's a good actor. He's not that bad. He's you know what I'm saying. He's not you know giant debt, but he's a good actor. So um, I don't think he could have turned heel at that point, especially at the place they were at because they went PG. So they needed that Superman superhero type you know type feel to you know lead the children basically. So that's why yeah. him being heel at that point was this is just wrong. Like it's not gonna work. Especially for the vision that WWE had at the time, they were PG. They wanted to appeal to more kids. They needed their Superman, so that was there, But there's people, there's people, there's wrestlers that can do both. The Rock, the Hulk Rock. Hogan, The Rock, yes. Yeah. Stone, Rock, uh, not Stone Cold. I think he's a better Shawn face. Michaels. Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Michaels, yes. Shawn Michaels, yes. CM Punk, there's, yeah. There's people that can go from face to heel, and it's good, and you actually care when The Rock turned face. People cared when he turned heel. People cared. Then there's some people. Hollywood Rock was probably one of the best renditions of the Rock. Yeah, also Rock three Rock, Rock was perfect. He was too Rock funny. Rock was wonderful, and his theme was fire. But we're gonna we're not gonna get on that, right? There's some people they like what you're saying. There's some people that you just don't change. For example, Stone Cold. Exactly. Turning Stone Cold exactly. Yep. was the dumbest thing that they ever did. Because my thing is with Stone Cold, you don't know what he is. He was like an anti-hero. He was like Deadpool to me. He did what was best for him, right? If going after a bad guy was good for him, then he did it. If going after a good guy was good for him, he, then he did it. He was relatable because he went against the boss. And everybody low-key hates their boss in their jobs. So everybody, especially back then, more of the fan base was older people. It wasn't young kids like that. Outside of like me and Trevor and Anthony, I guess, because we were children when he was doing his thing, but it was more old, pe- older people. They, everybody, most people, I won't say everybody. Like I want to say, like eighty percent of people who work don't like their boss, don't like the supervisors. So the fact that Stone Cold was beating the shit out of Vince McMahon ninety eight percent of the year, people love that. So he, they, they, you can't forget that. So when he tried to turn heel in two thousand one, nope, didn't work. We can't forget. What you did to Vince, bro. Like, you all yeah. of a sudden being with Vince doesn't make no fucking sense. Exactly. So we can't, you can't forget that. So, no, we cannot accept you. Right. Well, that's what it was. It so, was, I agree with you. He can't ever go back to whatever. Because he was healed before that. He, yeah. He can't go back to that. Well, like, You're dude, he wasn't. There needs to be more people. There needs to be more wrestlers that can do like that. That can, like, that can be bipolar-ish. You know what I'm saying? You know who I think is bipolar that people don't give more of a chance to, especially the WWE? Week? I like Shins- Shinsuke's heel run isn't that bad. I actually mm-hmm. kind of like Shinsuke as a heel, but they don't give him much of a chance. I no, like him being a crazy, like, they, like I'm talking about his feud with AJ Styles, for example. The way they kind of started to botch that. He should have he beat him at least once and won the title once. Exactly. I kind of I kind of like the breath of fresh air that he had. He was crazy. He who come out of nowhere and kick him in the balls. I fucking love that shit. See, I thought it was funny. I thought it was great. There's a question. There's a question, right? That WrestleMania. That WrestleMania. Yeah. The WrestleMania that Asuka and Shinsuke won the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Right? Not gonna lie, I would have rather preferred Asuka turn heel than, than than Shinsuke. I'm not gonna lie. Explain why. That's interesting. I'm not gonna lie, because you see Asuka's heel character now. Or when she's with the Kabuki Warriors. I don't think she's healed anymore, by the way. I'm pretty sure she's face now. Well, no. Uh, when she was with the Kabuki Warriors and she started, you know, um, the, the Tajiri, yeah. And they started hanging the damn titles on their necks and stuff. That's heel-ish to me. Right? That's heel-ish to me. And I think that that's something that we could have used, like, four years ago. Because now, now it doesn't matter. You know, now that's, we can't that's, you know, Hold up. Time out. That's interesting. Heels are the ones that don't put the belts on the right way. I never, I'm mad. I never noticed that. Exactly. Like you said put it over the head. Undertaker when he did it in two in two, he was heel when he did that. That's interesting. And, you see and, Bailey and, and, now. And, Bailey puts it yeah, on her head, it. or she'll put it on like this. But inside, I it, I tried it. It's uncomfortable. I'm not doing that. I, but, yo, I'm a, she's I, heel. That's interesting. I never noticed that. Yeah, I cut, yeah, yeah I, 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 I give up Bailey, but I love Bailey. Even though I hate as a heel, I love Bailey. Right, I hate her heel turn, but this new look, I love everything about it. Oh no, she's kind of she's hotter to me. Like she's this. bad, but we'll get we'll we'll get to that. But, um, but there, there's stuff that we should have got years ago that when we get it now, it's like 
it's 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 bittersweet. Like imagine you remember like I think it was two years ago when Sasha and Bailey were feuding low key in that elimination chamber when Alexa Bliss uh-huh. won. Imagine yeah. if one if um I don't think it could be possible because Bailey was the victim. But if Bailey wound up turning heel because of that, how fire that would have been. But like I said, I don't I think mean, she would have it would have been good because she was the victim. She was the one getting beat up by Sasha. So I guess Sasha exactly. should have been the heel there. But if like I say, Bailey would have just turned heel and turned like a bitch. Exactly. Imagine that. Bailey should have turned heel years ago. In my opinion, she should have turned heel years ago. She turns heel now, and it's like it's 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 bittersweet now because we could have got this years ago and would have been fire for a good couple of times. That's why I'm talking about Oscar. If we would if they would have turned Oscar heel years ago, it would have people would have probably cared more. I think she should just won. Like fuck heel, she just won the match in general. Like I didn't hate it though when she lost because th- that match was so good. I didn't care who won the match I, after that. But she she should have just won. It would have saved her. Had let her have that undefeated streak for a little while longer, and have her have the belt for a little while. They, they should have did that. Like I don't they know why they're you. so afraid of doing things like that. Like I don't get it. Cause like they don't want they don't want they don't want to take a chance of they it mess up. They want to just stick to what they know and stick to what they have, and they don't want to take. Risks. But that's you redundant I mean? when it isn't working. It's not working. So why not take the fucking chance? Exactly. <laughs> that, that's that's just it's dumb. You understand? It's dumb to me. Like I don't get it. Like you can't take in life. You can't. You can't go your entire life without taking risks. You cannot okay? succeed in life without taking right? risks. That you is can't, a, like, you because you're you can't. young. You learned that, by the way. You're young, so you need to learn you that can't. lesson. You cannot succeed you if you don't take risks. It's exactly. impossible. It's, 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 there's certain there's certain situations where taking the risk would benefit you more and the payoff will be phenomenal than what it would be if you just stayed and, and, and didn't take the risk. Phenomenal. Right? Phenomenal, phenomenal. right? But, like, there, there's there's tons of stuff. There's tons of things that WWE... It's a wrestling show. I could did. do all these fucking, you know, gimmicks. All there's the tons of things that WWE never did, Right? And they didn't take the risk on doing it. By the way, guys, it, it was, it's been an hour, by the way. Have y'all felt that? It's been an no, hour. No, it hasn't. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 it still do as long as we want. I'm just saying. It's been an hour. Continue. Uh, uh, break. See, it's, there's multiple things that they should have took a risk on. But there's multiple things that should have happened. But they didn't because they didn't want to take a risk. I'm about to say, right? because if we go through it, we're going to be here till 8 o'clock, like, tomorrow. Yeah, but, <laughs> so I, we I, can't I, go I, through I, that. I'm going to start with a minor one. A minor one that people that oh, everybody always wanted. Everybody wanted to see Undertaker versus Sting. Everybody wanted to see he Undertaker did. versus Sting. Right? And he was available. It never happened. For a long time. It never time. happened. Right? It never happened. Right? We got Triple H versus Sting. We got But they Seth were, Rollins like, 50. Like, <laughs> <But, laughs> who cares? But, he said Seth no, Rollins, he was 50. Seth Rollins was, tw- what, 30? He was 50. Like, why the fuck I want to watch that now? Like, First of all, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you mentioned that, right? Because, like I said, so we do give credit when WWE does well yes, with certain yes, things. We do, yeah. And we do shit on them. And we do shit on them for when they do things wrong. Which is most of the time. But let's be honest, <laughs> that invasion... That invasion angle for WCW, ECW, WCW, and WWE... The invasion, had, that was bad. They had got, they got all the B-minus people or less. Like, Booker T was the best guy they had. Waited. So, it me like a year to do that. It would have been very well. The problem is, when um, Sting said straight, straight up, he said he didn't, he didn't come to WWF because he said the way they were treating his former colleagues were, were, were horrible, especially Booker T. Because they, they treated them horribly. Yeah, they, they no cool so imagine had they did things the right way and they end up bringing everybody in. And, everything. and remember, um, the Time Warner deals, a lot of those contracts saying that, why am I gonna, I'm, I'm going to stay here? Why would I go to, why, 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 why would I go to WWE? I can stay home and do nothing to get paid two, three million dollars a year. So it, it's smart. It was smart. That's not but, bad. Yeah, that's true. So I don't blame them for, I don't blame them like Hulk Hogan, NWO, and Goldberg and Ric Flair to do that. I don't blame them. I would have done the same thing. But imagine that. We would have had that. That would have been awesome. That would have been, awesome. been awesome. Sting versus Undertaker. Sting versus Undertaker back in the day. At been, least 15 years ago would have been amazing. Let's say yeah, how. It would have been lit. I would have I said, I would, I would say 10. 
because Undertaker was still in good condition in ten that years. That was like the years. end of his like peak. I say. Yeah, I agree. So um, Deontay. So about you stripping, you need you need you need singles. Like why you keep stripping on camera? Like what, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not what, are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was doing the Dolph Ziggler. Oh I see that. And I, I don't understand why you're doing it on camera. Like, we don't need that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need that. <laughs> All right, well. Like, keep the shirt on, motherfucker. Like, what are you doing? You need the ladies to know. Sorry. Little, you, you're, you're a minor. Yeah. <laughs> what do yeah, you mean? If not, you're a minor. This is actually bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So this is your minor. Also, what I'm doing is bad, too. I'm throwing singles <laughs> on my camera. <laughs> <and I'm> right. <laughs> Why you want to stick around and put more business stable call your ass? <laughs> <laughs> right? But back, back That's to what we do in SDP. That's what we do in Sports Dynasty. We make exactly. jokes. So there you back go. To, but yeah, stop stripping, though. Seriously. Back, back to the topic at hand. Yes, yes. No yes. seriousness. Right? We could have had all this stuff, but they didn't want to take the chance on it because they didn't want it to be bad. Right? Um, Goldberg versus The Undertaker at Saudi Arabia was the worst match I have ever seen in my life. That's the second I, worst match I've ever seen. I've seen horrible matches. The first I've match, seen horrible matches. The first worst match I've ever seen was Triple H versus Scott Steiner and Roy Rumble 2003. That was no, the that, single worst that, match I've ever seen in my life. Horrible. I wanted to kill myself. I've seen horrible yeah. matches. Right? Freaking uh, a Goldberg versus Kevin Owens at Fastlane 2017. A pay-per-view that I hate with a passion, by the way. That's his that was a match. Hate. Yeah, for the Universal Championship. No, 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 no. you understand what I'm saying, right? That was that was literally three minutes. That was a match. <laughs> that was like seconds. Eighty seconds. You're right. You're right. I, I gave it too much time. You're right. It was one minute. Right. That right. was the single. They actually said that's the worst pay per view he's ever watched. That I hate that pay per view with a passion. I would not watch it ever again. But right. I agree. Goldberg versus Undertaker, like ten years ago, five years ago, that match would have been okay, at least decent. WrestleMania 30. Goldberg versus The Undertaker, that match would have been okay. I would have watched it. I would have enjoyed it because they were relatively still in shape, right? That's when freaking Undertaker Undertaker started to slow down after that WrestleMania. Uh, you if you watch that. the documentary, his head was fucked up at that point. So we're not entirely sure if he would have been... I, I, I agree I, with you, though. It wouldn't have been bad, though. But I'm just right? saying, in the documentary, if y'all watch it, though, the network... The yeah, we, ride. We, it's yeah. fucking beautiful. <laughs> so his we got his hip was messed up during that Brock Lesnar <laughs> fight, and then he got concussed. Yeah, but <laughs> there's or not even Undertaker, right? Because Undertaker, he should just sit down, relax. He's done enough. But I, I but the Undertaker's credit, yes, he should sit his ass down. The problem is with him is that two reasons why he won't sit his ass down: one, Vince McMahon, and two, the fans. Us, we are. Just as guilty as Mr. We, Man is. We love him. Like, yeah, like, he's... My thing is, but come on. You just gotta, like, there's certain people that you just gotta let go. Nah. Right? Mick we, Foley. We Mick let go Foley. him a long time ago. Like, I don't care about Mick Foley. Foley. But mm-hmm. Mick Foley is a prime example of somebody who put their body on the line. Oh, yeah. He right? This man had a tooth in his nose. He should be dead. He should be dead. But the difference between, between Mick Foley... Is that even at his wrestling career, he's he's more successful post wrestling wrestling career than even he was as successful as wrestler already. But I think he said, you know what, I could do more outside and be more just as successful even more. And it's true, he's a successful award winning no best best seller. You can't you can't get mad at that. And even in like he don't have to be wrestling for him to be good, and they showed that for the last twenty years. He will show up. Do a promo, maybe take one bump max, and everybody loves it. That's all he needs. Like he don't, we don't need him being in the ring. The Undertaker's different. That's a character that we just can't. Like I, I don't know if you need to be watching him in the nineties to really understand uh, the Undertaker, but I, I understand, and I'm a guilty no, as much as anybody else. I can't let go of him. He's, I, I went 16 he's the years. Goat. Like I need the goat to be there, bro. Like I need the Undertaker. I, I went 15 years. Me watching wrestling. I'm so used to hearing Undertaker's theme at the end of every hearing WrestleMania. Hearing that gong, right? I need it. I have to hear the gong. Every time, and, and Steve, even still now, even now, that gong still gives me chills. You hear it, and everybody loses it. it goes crazy, yep. That's that's him. That's it also shows it. 
it shows the Undertaker. I mean, not that we're talking about the Undertaker now. It's documentary. You can you can see after watching the last three episodes of this documentary, you can tell right then and there. And it's, this is not even not even close. The Undertaker is the most respected wrestler in the business. Yeah. Any company, any company, any company you can name, they all have respect for the Undertaker. The fact that matter is that he's not a person that would, you know, worry about his spot. He would just try to help help the younger generation. A wrestler's coming up, help help him through. And how everybody respected him as a, as a person, as a as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an athlete, as a character, as a person. No, as but a is person, that you know yeah. that's he's literally the final one of the last gems in the wrestling business. Once he's gone, it's like okay, that's it. Yeah, like, like where do you go from here? And there's nothing like him. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing like him. Nothing at all. Nothing. You can't. Like you can't. Why he was that. supposed to be that way, and he, yeah, exactly. he still kind of is supposed to be like that, but it's not the same. Like why I I think of yeah, why I think of Kane more than I think of Undertaker, to be honest. Like in my opinion, yeah. I think of old school Kane when I think of of um if a comparison to the Fiend. I think of Kane. I don't think of Undertaker. Like, so yeah. Wait, oh, my man's back. There he goes. Yeah. Good one. I mean, I won. Yo, uh, yo. Yo, guess who's in the United States champion now? Who? who? Apollo Cruz. Yes! He's gonna win it today. Yeah. And uh, WWE abandons trademark for Edge. New trademarks for WCW and Total Divas. That's weird. Wow. What? So, so Edge got got his licensing for his own stuff. Oh, that's cool. Okay. That's a big that's money maker. Cool. But freaking uh, finally, they finally put in some respect on Apollo Cruz's name. Oh shit! That's pretty big. Apollo Cruz is a beast. Oh. They finally put the respect on my boy out of Apollo Cruz, but. We're not gonna worry God about him right now, it. right? Congratulations, Apollo! You finally getting some respect. But uh, the Undertaker, my beer spilled. He's there's nothing in the world. Trevor, don't do that. Trevor, don't do that. Don't do that. Shut up. It, I don't. I don't want to say nothing because <laughs> if, 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 if this was at Ace Bar, we would look at you like disgraceful. <laughs> disgraceful. <laughs> <laughs> right. But The Undertaker, 21 wins at WrestleMania. That's too many lost. Nobody's ever done it. This nobody's ever done know. it, and nobody will ever do it. No. Come on. Nobody's ever done it, and nobody ever will do it. That will be cemented. No. Right? No. This man, this man refused to be put into the Hall of Fame. He's refused to be put into the Hall of Fame. He doesn't want to be put in the Hall of Fame yet. I, I mean, I don't think it's, it's like in I don't think it still thinks he tried. He still has it. It's like in sports, like well, with Tom, like Tom, just get your ass in the fucking Hall of Fame, bro. You got the most wins ever. Like, just fucking be in the Hall of Fame. Like, why I gotta wait? So that's even Undertaker. Like, you still wrestling, all right, but like, you're 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 the Undertaker. Just get in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. Like, I don't get it. Like, come on, just do it. Nobody hates the Undertaker. Nobody, I, and I, it's kind of hard to. I can't. I can't see anyone say a bad thing about him. I bad about him. And in me watching this documentary, Brock, it made me like him anymore. He's even Brock better. Yeah, Lesner. he's even better. Brock Lesnar, the person that doesn't like people at all, has respect for the Undertaker. He does. That I think he likes something. him a lot. Yeah, I think yeah, they said in the documentary when he got concussed, he he was in the hospital too with with um Undertaker, or Brock Lesnar. I think. I think. And I, 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 I talking about it too. Brock Lesnar originally did not want to end the streak. He, he, didn't, he, yeah, he didn't, didn't like it. He didn't want to, but the Undertaker said, "Let yo, let's do it." Yo, bro, just do it. Because of, of, of the professional that he is, he said, "Yo, let's do it. Let's do it." I'm getting back to the business. And he said, "Okay." But originally, everybody that they said they asked, they asked Randy Orton years ago in the street. He said, "No, absolutely not." They asked he was Edge. A killer. They asked Edge at WrestleMania 24, wow. I believe. 24. He said no. 24. He said no because that doesn't make any sense. The storyline that wouldn't make any sense. Why would you want me to? Which end is the good street? because that would have killed the Shawn Michaels um angle it right would've. after that. So yeah, it would have good. It would have. And then another thing is, if you watch the Undertaker and like the late late two thousands to early two thousand tens, yeah, like the WrestleMania matches from there. Let's talk about the the last two with Shawn, the last two with, 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 with um, Triple H, with Triple H, and you can say Edge if you want to put it there too. Those five matches, right? Excuse me. Personified. The, the excellent storytelling. The storytelling for those five matches 
were incredible. That's what he said in the documentary. Those were his and four favorite matches in incredible. his street career. Yeah. Yeah. Even even with Edge, even with Edge, that that match. That match is beautiful. Absolutely incredible. beautiful. Incredible. Like you know, what I'm saying it's like the fact of the matter is that. And then another thing when with on with, um, Roman Reigns, right? Yeah. The, the amount of respect he has for Roman Reigns in that match, he said, "Listen, he's 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 the next guy coming up. He's a big you no. Know, he's the star coming up." Um, the fact that he felt that he didn't deliver in that match, mm -hmm. he felt he he did him a disservice. But even the match, the match was horrible. But mm -hmm. the amount of respect he has for Roman Reigns, even after that, saying, "Yo, I, I, I screwed up. I screwed up." It's like, "Yo, what, 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 what?" Okay. So you know how in Last Dance, there's a couple of, in like the Michael Jordan doc, there's a couple of fibs. Like there's a couple of lies in there that is not entirely true. That they don't yeah. want to kill the couple because, of course, that that whole Last Dance thing is on one point of view. Which we'll talk about tomorrow in the actual sports dynasty thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, yeah. So in this one, you don't think that WWE may have pushed Undertaker a little bit to push Roman Reigns as a guy a little bit, just you know what I'm saying, just to just to try to get people to listen so. and be like, "Yo, Roman Reigns yeah, is the yeah, man." Yeah. You know, Roman Reigns supposed to be the next guy. You know, you don't think that's a little bit of propaganda for Roman? You don't it, think it, so? It probably just is. A little bit. Probably a little bit, but not too much. I really, I really, really think that. I heard you, Anthony. You got my back, right? I heard you. No, I hear you because think about it. They haven't seen Reigns in a minute. It's a good way to build him up. Undertaker's giving him cred. Undertaker didn't really talk some, didn't really mention much about other people, really specifically, like, to put him on top. Like, and a lot of people do give, like, Roman Reigns a lot of dirt when it comes to his ring work. And Taker's like, no, nah, he's, he got it. So right, like, when he comes you know, back, what if he goes here? I think it's possible. I, and honestly, keep in mind too for SummerSlam, if things are reopening and New York yeah. is already like, oh, you know, all sports teams can come back. I was just thinking this out of my head. Like, imagine SummerSlam in MSG or in MetLife Stadium. Where is it? Is it in Boston, it's Summer, right? SummerSlam in, 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 in Madison Square? I think it's in TD Garden. I think it's yeah. In it was supposed to be in Boston this year, but I'm saying like if let's say they decide, hey, let's let's go hard, then let's go, let's let's take it to another level because out of everybody in the whole country, the New York is right now like under like three digits right now. It's in Boston because we're supposed to fucking go. Or 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 yeah, Boston. We're in Boston. But I don't know how Boston's right now doing with the whole Corona situation. But they already canceled. They already canceled it already. Yeah, they're not taking they're chances. Canceled. They're not gonna have it there. Yeah, so New York might take the chance. If they do. I'm, we're going. If, if, if they come to Madison Square Garden, I'm going. I'm going. I am I going. think it'll be fine. Motherfucker, like, they, this is the worst state with the corona. Are you sure about that? I don't know about that, bro. Bro, I don't want to cast this bro. corona. I'm just, all I do is wear a mask. Exactly. And, then wear, and wear, wear Kane's mask, you'll be good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. If that happens, you got to tell me. I, I think I will risk it, too. Like, I don't yeah. mind living somewhere else for like a few weeks if, if if you know my brother be like get the fuck out you're not coming here like, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mind. But I don't but think, honestly with with the like, way we're taking precaution now, I don't think it's gonna spread the way it spread like when I got it. Cause when I got it, nobody had mask on. People just didn't care. You got it early, yeah. Yeah, I got it early, and it it takes like a good like you 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 really recover within like three weeks. But it takes about six weeks for your lungs to really like you not to be coughing anymore. So it takes a while. It's one of those viruses that they, they really stay there for a while. I have a question about that, by the way. So you yeah. had it, right? How were your how was your wife and your child doing during your entire recovery process? Did they contract it too or did they like like what happened? No, nah, they got it. They got it too. They had it too. They got it way I, I got hit like like I was some freaking asshole or whatever. I don't know. Like I got hit hard. And then my all my wife had was like I think it was headaches, uh, loss of taste or smell, and that it was does it. That too? Son, like, huh? It does that too. Yeah. You feel what your senses? Like, bro, bro, you can't <laughs> taste nothing. And no mucus. There's no like you don't get congested. That's crazy. You just like you'll taste something. It'll be like it's like you're in hell or something. Oh my god. Like you know one of those things for people that are gluttony that they won't like apparently when they're in yeah. hell the Catholic version. Like if they're, they're punished. Like, like if that's their punishment. Food, like for yeah. Being the, yeah, yeah. This virus right. brings that. You can't smell. 
I couldn't taste. I, I think I didn't eat for like almost like a five days straight. I was just drinking water. Because I couldn't eat. If, if I ate, I gagged. It was that bad. Damn. It, it sucks. My man said it's the disease of the divine. You said you, you did something it's bad weird. in your life. Bang! I you get the know. disease. I don't know, bro. It's, wow. it's weird. <laughs> then my son. That's my worse son than had hell. a fever. Right, so. right. Hell on earth. It's it's a weird it's a weird virus, bro. And then my son had it. He had fever for like I think two three days, and then he bounced back and he was chilling. Because he's really young. I know, he's, he's really young. yeah. He's he really young. Off, yeah. He didn't have like like crazy symptoms. So by the time I recovered, they have been exposed to it. Think about it. We live in the city, bro. This apartment is not that big. Yeah. There is no way in hell that you I can isolate. Facts. That's why I there's asked. no there's no way. So I was asked, like just in case, but yeah. Yeah, the only thing I did do was I tried to clean as much as possible, so if they had a, uh, they wouldn't have the same viral load that I did. Okay. So the preventive measure helped to them not get it so bad, but everybody in the house had it to some extent, but nobody went down it the way I went down. Okay. Thank God. Good. Okay. But yeah. All right. Good. Wow. But it's the worst <laughs> fever I've ever had in my life, bro. I, I had a fever for ten days straight. That's with crazy. medication, with like the stuff they were giving me, it was like, yeah. I think I lost like 15 pounds. Jesus Water bro. weight and everything, bro. I know you want like I need to lose that much weight too, but not like that. Nah, bro. It yeah, sucks like that. <laughs> once you lose it, your body thinks it's like you went through a famine or something. So your weight bounces right back. And it's oh, weird. I get it. I get it. Because people are like, man, you got mad lean. I'm like, yeah, dude. I've been sweating my ass off for 10 days. Dying. With 102 yeah. fever. I'm not going <laughs> to lose weight. My body's like a freaking oven. And I'm like, nah, dude. I'm like, this ain't the healthy way to lose weight. <laughs> this it's is, not no question. It's, yeah, I figured. Nah, it's dangerous. Wow. But yeah, That's I mean, crazy. if you guys get it, just just keep in mind the, the symptoms. What I've been hearing, though, is that people have been going too late to the doctors. That's what actually makes you more susceptible to get a ventilator or or potentially die. My family's been lucky. So, yeah. yeah. You've been good. My mother's you been close. Have had it. My mother has been in contact with somebody who had it, but she didn't get it though. But she got tested too, and she didn't get right. it. Right. So that happened to me. I got in contact with two people that had it. That second person got you, huh? Yo, Damn. dude, I trained someone from Lincoln. So when that happened, in like Lincoln posted, Hospital, everybody in Lincoln Hospital had it. That's Everyone why you should. It. You fucked up, bro. Why did you go Lincoln? Shit, I don't know why it's the hospital. I didn't. I didn't go to Lincoln. <laughs> Turn her face. I trained her. <laughs> she comes. She comes to my home gym, and I train her. So I remember, like, it was weird that, that day because that was the last time I seen her. And I was like, did you guys get, like, any type of, like, training for the coronavirus? Because it could be here already. You guys got PPE, like, masters. She's like, no. I'm like, damn. Fuck. That's what I knew. Like, if I get this, it's probably from her or whoever else has it. And my viral load was higher than everybody else around me that had it. Guys, I've been exposed so, to so like what y'all know, this was early, like, March-ish somewhere. It was, like, early April or, like, late March, something like that. It was yeah, yeah. really early when you got here, so just so y'all know. Yeah, it was we're still like, recording now. So that's what I'm saying. So you got I background. He caught it like, late March ish. Like the third week of March. That's yeah, see, when there you go. Got, it just got real. And they found them. And they had a and the thing is when they listen to your lung, you don't hear you don't hear the pneumonia. I was breathing like on my own will. That's the weird thing. So when they were like, I'm telling the doctor, like, listen, I'm really it it, it feels like fire when I breathe in. And the doctor goes, all right, uh, give him an x-ray. When they give me the x-ray and they told me, there's something we could do for you, you got to go to the emergency room? That's when I That's knew, oh, knew. Shit. this is weird. Yeah. I'm going to post this video separately. Okay. So people can know. Like, what yeah, like, it's, 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 it's legit. It's real. It's real. The one thing I'm glad that my doctor did not leave me in the hospital. He said, listen, you're better off healing. We're going to give you the stuff to treat the pneumonia, but you have to do breathing, breathing techniques, and you have to rest. You're also 27, 28 years old. So I guess with that, that logic, they knew you're going to be fine. Just yeah. go away. Versus you being right. 58, 57 years old. They're I'm screwed. They're yeah. fucked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. There's no way. Okay. Because once you get to that age group, that's when it gets concerning. Like, I I saw quarantine an extra two weeks after I recovered. Just to be sure. Because the virus still spreads mm -hmm. even after you recover. No, that makes sense. That's so right. it's not like the flu that all oh, your virus no it goes away still, like nothing yeah yeah people been testing positive because the the thing is that the the part of the lung that gets damaged mm -hmm. 
they still have the, the dead cell of the coronavirus. So it, it only tracks if it's in your body. It doesn't track if it's active or not. Mm-hmm. So even the test is still a little so iffy. So the test is still yeah. incomplete. Yeah. Your, okay. The blood one is the best one because they can see it. They can look at the blood cells and be like, all right, the virus is in there. Oh, not the one that goes up your brain or whatever. Now that shit. That one's just to see if you have if you have any sign of anything. I'd rather take that. What is it? That, that viral load one that they have? Where they, they take the blood the out? One, I should actually go, go get that, yeah. Because that one vibe. takes longer from what I heard. That shit takes like a week or so or two. It's not like that. Right. So. The blood one is more accurate. But yeah, bro, this thing this thing really knocks you out. I think like the most time I was in the bed, I couldn't think. I couldn't feel anything. I was just like, I was like, well, if I die, I die. It, it could get to that point. Because you feel it. Your okay. body is weak. I move, and I was like, yeah, I'm going back to bed. It That's was, scary. It's like, it's like the flu times three, because it's longer. Who was like two, three days in? All right, I'm back to Yeah, it's done. It's nothing, yeah. Nah, this thing was like, I'm like, damn, this is bad. And mind you, like two days before that, I got hit really hard. I was working out. I'm over here deadlifting 400 something pounds, and I'm like, why is my body feeling cold? Why do I feel weak? This is not that heavy for me. Why am I only pulling 150? What type of weak shit is that? Like, why am I putting up around 400 like you? <laughs> yeah, but I'm oh, here with beast. coronavirus lifting, and I'm like, damn, like, because wow. I was feeling, I was like, yo, you're out of breath. Like, what's wrong? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm having a cold, but I'm like, nah, no. But in my head, I'm like, this is not a cold. Colds don't take your breath away. No, it doesn't. You'd be all right. Yeah, so yeah. once Monday came, I was like, yo. Run it. I, I, I gotta get checked out. And my wife was pissed at me too because I, I wasn't able to help her out with the kid. So being quarantined with a kid is like, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, oh no I'm, doubt. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna smack you. Like, yo, bro, what? Are, are you sick? Or are you trying to yeah, like not you. help me? Again, this is early, and this is early, um, April, late, um, March when we were literally locked in. Home. Yeah, when no one really, like, when you could not like, go oh, out. Corona. Yeah, this is the yeah. early stages. It's not now. Right. We're, we can go outside for like a few and then come back. Now right. in May. Now this is like two months ago where you know. You need to actually yeah. stay home and that's it. Yeah. Right, right. But it's it's interesting now because everything that was supposed to do during my time when I got this, now they're doing it now. Mm-hmm. But they're not testing enough people. You don't it's, have them it yet. sucks. Because everybody, the thing is, I suspect the second wave, bro. Because Me the too. whole when I had Corona, I was like, I'm going to study this stuff. Mm-hmm. I want to understand the history of pandemics. In the last 500 years, there's always a second wave. Like, no doubt, there's always a second wave. It literally goes like this. All right, we got 200,000. It's probably going to drop back down. And then this thing is going to come like crazy in the fall. And it could jump up to a million. Because people are going to think everything is back to normal. Uh, you have holidays coming up where people are uniting together. Yeah. Like it's gonna be more, harder to quarantine people in the winter because you got Christmas, you got Thanksgiving, you yeah, also got same time holidays and for ten- yeah, shit. like yeah. where everybody where social distancing is really gonna create like distress in in the society. So it always happens in the fall. It is the weirdest thing. But uh, what is that book? I've been reading this book too. Let me see if I find it. I, I think again. everybody should pick it up. I pee again. So I'm going to let this bro. continue recording. Y'all talk about what the fuck you want to talk about. I'll, I'll catch up. But I got to pee again. It's all this right, book so. right here. It's called The Deadliest Enemy. So it breaks down all the way from enemy, the Black right. Age. I'll keep that in mind. I'll watch this all when I edit anyway. Yeah, you can listen to it, but it's interesting because it breaks down almost every single like plague or pandemic. And every all of them have the same pattern. But... The thing that sucks is that this is probably going to financially hit people harder than the virus. That's for sure. Which is what I get worried from my friends and, and things that are happening now. Because the government right now is still acting very... Uh, Bougie? Forest. They're, they're trying to take care of their buddies. They're not trying to take care of the people. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes yeah. sense. That's fucking hard. Definitely. Right. But yeah, other than that, we'd be glad you, you back to normal and everything. Yes. Right? So yeah, matter- yeah. I can imagine because I fucking suck. Um, yeah, it just how it's able to it's able to impact, especially small businesses in America. How are being affected by this drastically? And it's like, you know, right. it's like I think it's, it's like a test for everybody to understand that you know you gotta get right, get right whether it's physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever you want to get get right with. Right. Because like I said, tomorrow's not promised to anyone. So. 
I think this helped pretty much it. See, this is the thing. Some people have learned things the hard way. Unfortunately, certain people have to learn things the hard way. We yeah. That, but some people have learned things the hard way. But at least we it's testing humanity saying, okay, how, how what, what what can we handle all the yeah. other stuff? Yeah, but I think it's I think it's a necessary evil. Like I know that sounds messed up, but for people that have lost their like significant other, but like you got to think about it. At some point, we're very divided, extremely divided, politically speaking, even financially speaking. Now it's like we have an opportunity to bridge that gap. If we don't take this time where we're being forced to, I don't see another time. It, it, either things will go really bad or things get really good after this is all done. It just depends on how we. How we approach it. That that's been my concern more than the than the virus. Because I, I feel like if you and Juan had it, you'll be fine. Not so much our parents, not so much other people. But us the people that are still gonna be around to lead, how are we gonna do it? How are we gonna address the the that the, the elephant in the room? You know, like it's it's getting serious. But this summer I still see a break. I do hope that wrestling is able to allow some fans in. Um you can't be in quarantine forever. It does screw yeah, you up. It'll be like the Lord of the Flies. It's just a matter of time until people start acting crazy. Look, look at uh, uh, Wisconsin. Uh, I think it was Michigan or Wisconsin, if I'm, if I'm correct. They got so crazy that they ran up with, with the, the armed guards, right? The, the civilians ran up with, with M4s trying to go into a legislative uh, bill that they were trying to pass. Trying to, like, threaten the governor with guns. Quarantine affects people different. Some people might be like, yo, they're taking my rights. And then it makes things even worse. So it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Can't, can't, can't live without taking risks, bro. This is yeah. definitely Hell crazy. no. Hell, and that's the I think that's the hardest part for the small businesses. The businesses that are already online, they're good. It's the it's the old mom and pop shops that haven't caught up to 21st century standards. Like they're they're throwing money out, but it's like it's not just the money, it's the skill. How do you market online? How do you do SEO? How do you do all these other things? That that's been the biggest problem. I think sports are gonna be fine because they already had an online platform. They can play with our fans because fans the can transition. Watch them. I like that. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's I think for the sport it's gonna be fine. I I've, I've been watching KBO, the Korean baseball yeah. organization, and it's really good. Like you can watch it, and I don't. I'm not focusing on the fans being there. Hell, the fans are standing outside the stadium, taking pictures and stuff, because they want. Mm. They know that, like, all right, Dedication. we can't be inside, but they, but they're like, they're like big fans. <laughs> I think they even Dedication. juiced up the baseballs for that season, so when Americans watch it, they can be more engaged. Oh yeah, because MLB. I'm not sure about MLB, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck they gonna do. They are they not agreeing on anything. Problem. If you watch and, 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 he was talking with his agent because they have this park, they have like this YouTube channel, right? And she's going, mm -hmm. Well, the problem is that MOB wants to put a cap salary. So they're using the quarantine to force a cap salary. Because they feel like even though they're they're making a lot more money, that it might not be sustainable mm -hmm. for the long run. Because the sport itself has lost popularity. But whose fault is that? It's MOB. And and the way that she explained it was that they try to keep everything private. They didn't want to sell uh, MLBTV's licensing for ESPN or for other networks to provide to see all 30 teams. When you see the NBA, the NBA is everywhere. NFL is everywhere. There's so many different ways to access that oh, content. Yeah. Look, MLB is not like that. This is a wrestling podcast. I'm not gonna get into baseball because mm -hmm. we can have a whole podcast on yeah, just what's yeah, wrong yeah, with yeah. MLB. I don't even know how the hell I what she might so do. What you oh, might God. do soon Please, because yeah. shit, like that's a lot. We could destroy the MLB. The organization is yeah, just yeah, yeah. disgusting. Yeah, we can. So let's yeah. let's go back to wrestling, please. Yeah, absolutely. I like the Corona <laughs> thing though. We can get that involved. I'm gonna post that specific part of the video a lot yeah, so people can see what's up because you have experience with the disease. So right. that's really good yeah. insight. So I'm gonna put that for everyone to see. Let's True. get back into wrestling. Yes. To segue to oh, that, bless you, uh, Deontay. I heard you sneeze like I, six I sneezed, times. I sneezed like fifteen times. Yeah, I, God bless you, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too, too um, stressing. To segue back to that because it, it does quite. It, what does it mean for wrestling. for wrestling going forward? 
Because now you're talking about WWE talking about you know stopping live shows, you yeah. know the how coronavirus is really affecting. So I'm not gonna everything. lie, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that they stopped the house show shit. Like I never yeah. really understood the point of doing it as much as they did. Like give these guys some fucking rest. Let these guys have some family time. Like shit. It, it's because they're like, trying to be that live. Down, they're bro. trying to bring that experience where where the. They really make their money from the kids that convince their parents to pay a they do. crap lot of no, money you're right. to see their superstars. Like, literally, I've seen it in events, and I'm like, damn, that's me and, like, when, when Caleb is, like, four or five. I want to see Seth Rollins, daddy. And I'm like, here's my paycheck. Because <laughs> you want to make your kid happy. It's, dude, when I went to Disney, I think we spent, like, two, three Gs oh in, like, God. four days. Yeah, that that took a little while to recover, and it's it's the kids, bro. And then I'm the other kid that's single. older, they were spending like he had to do a Jedi thing. It was crazy. Parents get sucked for their money, bro. Fuck, bro. Got him. Yeah. Let, again, this is but not I this have podcast. Let me stop that. Like, wrestling, wrestling. Yeah. But wrestling. To go back to wrestling, I think at some point. Getting away from the live performances is better because WWE is not a sport. It's not a it's real not a sport. sport. No. When my you is, let them edit, they actually catch up time to give you a good product. Vince, it I, hasn't worked. I call it a sports opera. That's what I call it. It's a you, sports you put, opera. Yeah, That's you good. put athletics into it, but there's a storyline you need to follow in order to know what's you going on. That. It's a story right. told. Right. Through athletics, it's a sports opera. That's what it is. But this is what I've been hearing about WWE. Apparently, they're trying to become that brand that's similar to Disney because Disney wants to buy out WWE. Yeah, nope. yeah, that's the goal they because they, that's why they have these connections with ESPN and, and they have it with other different branches of Disney. They even got Sasha Banks, I think, on. on uh, what is that show on that Star Wars show that they have on Disney Plus? Mandalorian, the Mandalorian. Yes, yeah, I didn't know that. That's crazy. She's Triple H, two. Triple H, be going onto the ESPN on the on the talk shows. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like the WWE is basically part of the ESPN Disney family. If they're allowing superstars to cross over to the Disney world, it just makes sense that eventually Disney buys out WWE, leaves Vince McMahon as CEO, and WWE now becomes a Disney product. Yeah, they get close to that. Because and that's exactly that once they do that, it's over. AEW is basically the wrestling business. Yeah, it is. Uh, I wonder I think though. That's why AEW decided. That's why I think that that, that Tony Khan was like, "Wait a second, they're moving that way. Let me be number one here." Yeah, I hundred percent. That's, 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 that's the the authentic wrestling right. product. That's what AEW, the AEW is going to. So I wonder, though, if see, you see how WWE, since WrestleMania 36, how they've been doing the cinematic wrestling matches, right? I wonder if that helps for for Disney to take over. You think Hell that yeah. does? A yes. cinematic They've done it three times. They've done it with the, the AJ Styles match. Because the best at it. Yeah. Anything that's, cinematic, that's what I'm saying. Look what, look what they did with Marvel. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So I imagine, I wonder if the, so with these matches, with the money in the bank that has popped up, with two of them, both of them, right. were cinematic matches. The it's AJ fire. Styles and Undertaker and then the Fun, Firefly Funhouse. Though right. all four of those matches were cinematic. I wonder if that helps with the negotiations with, with Disney. It because does. it's cinematic. And, and what did they do for, for the last WrestleMania? They were able to finally sell it in different platforms. Yeah. Vince did not want to do the, the $10 a month thing. Not for the pay-per-views. They, this is the discussion that they had. This is why they, they fired some of the top executives. The top executives are like, no, you should you should do these monthly subscriptions. And Vince is like, but if we try to sell this, and they're only making $10 a month per head, they're not going to want to do it. There's no freaking way. So how do you do it? He started going, hey, I want to sell out. This is 72 at some point, he needs to stop. Yeah. You yeah. need to secure your family's legacy. What are you going to do? Give it to this. The McMahon family. The McMahon, the McMahon family has given the wrestling business so much. Not, not even that. You, there is no wrestling business without, since, um, without the McMahon family. It's not. 100%. Yes, that's the, not. Wrestling. 
That's the Victor man took professional wrestling to mainstream levels that probably would never have been reached before. You know why? This man said, "Why am I going to keep doing this promotional, you know, territory crap?" When I could just take, over like, I could take over the whole world, take over the whole world, which he did, make whole money money out of it, and that's it. And it's true. It's true. It's like if it's going to be made by Vince, it should it should be end by him. I think Vincent Man should sell it. He might. It, it's it's going to happen. It's, it's more than else is going to happen. And then you know, just one from there. Like, come on, you make so much money. Think about it. He does make so much money. Think about he it. He really does. Watch, it, watch another ten years. He's a billionaire now. That's it. Yeah, watch another ten years from now. If you go to Orlando, Florida, for Walt Disney World and everything, you're gonna see WWE shop shop there, right there. WWE shop right yep. in, in right there. And get this belt right here. Get Trevor's the- belt right there, like yeah, yep. And you yep. get a Mickey Mouse hat with it. You got them right. So the point is this: I, I, I think it's, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I think that they should get. And also, just keep this in mind that WWE has been around for almost a hundred years. The brand has proven that it can last. It, Low it key, let's, 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 let's stretch that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The WWWWF. That was his first call, right? Trip yeah. three W's and F. It's been yeah. around for almost a hundred years. They keep that in mind. How long, how much long Jeffrey the McMahon family really has put this on? Like it's before been Vince, Vince Senior, like all that. Like, come on, bro. It's it been around back. for a very. A matter of fact, with my phone, I'm about to put up how long it really has been. I don't know where my phone is at. Oh, I got it. But yeah, it's been around for a very long time to show how long the McMahon family really has put this business up on the map. Let's say the show. But continue, continue. The show alone has been like what? 20 years? 20 well, uh, years SmackDown, all of them combined to have it to that mainstream level has been Yo, close to years. Years, 30, 20 years. So, actually, no, yeah, about 30 years because it was 96. Years, yeah. Almost. Like, that's been a, that's a huge deal. And, and they, uh, the same thing will happen with Marvel. Nobody saw Disney buying Marvel. So, Disney said, you know what? We know what we could do with Marvel to take it to the next level. 1953 is when the WWWF started. That's like 70, 80 years ago. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty lit. Just so that's y'all know. crazy. And no other Capital, business Capital Wrestling like Corporation is when it started. Oh, wow. wow. I wasn't even thought of. So, just so that's, y'all know how re- fucking retarded, how long has this really been? This has been before see. my mom was born. So, it's like 67, 68 years. Yeah, before wow. mine too. Yeah. My grandmother was nine when it started. Nine. My mother, grandmother was born nineteen forty four. Bro, that's a third generation, third generation company. Yep. My this this big man is seventy like five. By the way, right? <laughs> like, he's literally he's literally the Walt Disney of WWE. So yeah. like, there's two ways this could go. All right, let's say they give it to Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. I just don't feel those are the people that you're gonna long term see the success of it. No, they don't I have that same you. pedigree yeah. as Ben. I, I love Triple H. He, he actually cares about this. He's an a hole in the backstage. Stephanie, she's a performatist. She doesn't have her own backbone to what she really wants to do. Vince does. Vince says it's this is this. You need someone with security yeah. with that. You're dealing with shareholders. That's why I agree with you. I think. If Vince doesn't do it, Steph and Trips will give it to Disney. I think. They but if they sell it. it to Disney and Vince makes this deal, we're like, listen, I need my daughter at least to run the company. But if things go to shoot, you you could decide who you want to pick. And I will say this. I will say this. If this Corona thing didn't happen, the XFL would have been continued. Would have had a second or third season. Right. So that would have took his attention. So with that, I think then maybe Disney would have swooped in and took Stephanie and Triple H after that. So they would have, they would have took it a year or two Bro, sooner. Bro, I think than maybe. honestly, I think Disney would have bought XFL. Maybe. And I'm say this one because maybe. Be like, wait a second, we own ESPN. How much we money? have broadcasting licensing to practically? Bro, every hold on, hold on, hold on, Deontay, bro, did you just ask that question? Like Deontay are, is are, like the planetary monopoly of all time, bro. What did he say? I know they have. He said, they have this, he said, "Does Disney really have that much money?" Yes. Hell yeah. Get, yes. 
Listen, let's, let's 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 calculate here. Let's calculate. Because I know I know they have they have Marvel. They have next. They, they have, if um, Walt Disney was alive, he would have died from movie. orgasm with the amount of money they fucking made, bro. No Disney question. Has, Disney has around a hundred. No, they have two hundred and thirteen billion dollars. They are the most profitable entertainment company in the world. WWE only has almost, two billion. They're almost a so, monopoly. They're close to it. Bro, Disney. they Very own cruise close lines. To it. They own cruise lines. They own amusement parks. They own licensing to almost a hundred years worth of shows. Going all the way back to Yo, Snow bro, Wars. Deontay, do you know what a monopoly is? I know the monopoly game. Bro. The game. Monopoly is illegal, by the way. Let's let you know what that how far that is. They're that close to a fucking monopoly, Disney. Yeah, that's how literally. rich they are. They can they can buy this planet. I'm sure they could do that. I'm sure they could do that. That's how rich Bro. and powerful. Not just rich, powerful. They but are. Even, yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, can I upload this? I'm not gonna get in trouble, right? What? Cause we're talking about Disney right now. I'm scared. Like I like. I mean, I mean, there's no Disney. There's, there's no Disney logos, logos at all. I'm the same well, because they're, they're powerful, Disney. so I'm scared. We're pro like, Disney I'm not right trying to get now. Trouble. Why would you be pissed? <laughs> we're pro but Disney. They... We're telling Disney, Joe, get it. Get your right, money. low key, low key, dead ass. We're because low key. even Jay Bezos was like, listen, even Jay Bezos. Apparently, this has been the conversation that if that WWE Bezos can make money, is the owner of Amazon, by the way, Amazon, like the guys you order yes. from, that's Jay Bezos, my boss. I work for Amazon. That boss, yeah, that's Joe Bezos. Yes. So look at Jay Bezos. His market cap of his company is one point twenty-two trillion dollars, and he said that he's willing to buy the licensing from WWE, a three billion dollar company. All of a sudden, has can get leverage from a trillion dollar company. That's insane. The minute Amazon buys it, he's going nowhere. So he can make no money, and they're still paying people. Yeah. You got a trillion dollars to go. I do what I want. Yeah, they can literally buy out freaking Venezuela if they want it. Amazon is ridiculous. They so if it's Disney, retarded. let's say Disney buys the company, Disney then says, "Hey, we'll sell the licensing to to, to Amazon to promote the pay per views because they have Prime Video exclusive." Oh, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Prime Disney. Video. I have it. Come Prime Bro, Prime. that would be insane. Instead of just watching the Eat Network. The day network switches over to Prime Video. Now all of a sudden, I'm not just watching. And Prime Disney Video. Plus. I'm watching everything else. I am the most happiest customer in the world. Yeah. I'm kissing Jeff Bezos' feet like, thank you. No, f that dude. I hate Amazon. Or, 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 or <laughs> this guy. <laughs> As a worker, f them. Well, Prime Video is like what, like $10, 10 five dollars? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everybody, if if, if Disney buys WWE, um, they start putting WWE. If you're, w if you're not a student, it's like. 12, some shit like that. Something like that. If you are a student, like a college student, you get a shit like six. That's not bad. I mean, I pay as a not student. Bad. It's like, what, $64 now? They kind of bumped it up a little, but... Yeah, if you get the year version, it's, still a it's like deal. less than 50. It's not like that. Yeah, I always student. get that stuff annually. I, don't, I hate paying like 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 right, monthly dude. bills like that. But anyways, that's I, not part I, of I'm, I'm, I'm poor, so I, I, I do it monthly. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay like $50 out, like $60 at once. So but hold on. So people, you hear what I just said, right? If right. y'all will support us, I want to be as broke as I am. So y'all should support yeah, us and help us get some cash. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If y'all agree that we're a good podcast and we put good content, I'm yo. You could help Facts. us up. Press if y'all no, help us out, I could get paid. I could put out more shit, and I want to be as broke as I am. I'm just saying. Subscribe. I mean, it's a win-win. Win win. Win win. Right, Trevor. Right, Trevor. Have them right. Shit. Yeah, so I'm just saying, so when we win, we split 50 50 because we do the uh, same shit, me and Trevor, you know, brothers for life. So, I mean, yeah, right, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, and then my guests will get about 20%. I'm just saying, so they get some money, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Yo, he's whoa, a minor, so he'll get like talk, 10 because he's not 18 yet. Talk. But when he's 18, he'll get the 10, and then Anthony get the 20 because he's a grown ass man. Sorry, but hey, you don't work, so fuck it, you got no responsibility, you can exactly. get 10. But still, he yeah, just so he goes. So, I mean, a guy, so you'll help us out. I'm just saying. Yo, I'm listen, saying. Yeah, he we can build a website. advertisement. We could build a, a, a website where all your content will be at. 
You guys have like what, almost a year or two worth of, of, of content, on. I think. That's almost like a conversation to have outside of the recording. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Either. I've been. I, I'm thinking business right now. My no, you good? You good? You good? You good? But we'll definitely talk, we'll talk about, about that. that. Because we'll I've been we'll doing talk. um affiliate marketing, and SEO targeting. That's been kind of like what I've been doing. For, we'll, like, talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. But we'll talk. But back to the yeah. WWE. Yes. Big boots. WWE is just trying to stay in the game right now during the quarantine because if they can make a profit, even during a basically a, a, a pandemic, a dedicated recession, mm-hmm. I think Disney and Amazon are going to be betting for them. It's close because, yeah, because money yeah. is going way down, which is my fear. Like, yeah. the disease, I don't care about the disease. It's the economic status of this country is what I'm scared of. For a year from now, how we're gonna be financially as a country in 2021? And I think that's when WWE will bite. I think that's when WWE will bite. Yeah, and they'll go, okay, we can still keep the company, but we give away our basically their rights, but they still get paid, and this can find a way to get everybody to get their money to keep WWE as a as a company. Basically, that's what happened with the Beats. Dr. Dre's still running it. Along with his other co-founders, yeah. a lot, all, and the all the big companies are good. All the big companies are good. Yeah, but it's the small ones that are suffering because they don't have that backbone like the bigger companies do. Exactly. Backbone. WWE lost yeah. about two billion dollars. It's still, my, we're value. saying that they it's suck still, and they don't make money. Whatever, they're still tops. <laughs> like low key, so they're good. They're good. Yeah. So they're gonna survive. They're, they're gonna be fine. Money. Money. Hey, that's, that's that's part, I would, I would buy WWE now. They lost half their value. Me too. If I'm going, if I'm going, wait a second. This I'm going to pay five billion to call I'm Vince yep. now. This, if I'm I agree. Fox, what about Fox? Fox might go. You know what, Vince? I don't Vince hate Vince. Fox buying it though. FS1. I don't hate That'd it. Fire. First of all, hold on. Hold on. First of all, Fox has to deal with Amazon. They put their content on Prime Video. Disney owns Fox. They, Disney owns Fox. Oh shit! You're right. That's true. So You're it right. is Disney. So then it's we Disney. Yo, this, I see, Deontay, Whoa, you hear what you just said, right? God they own damn. FS1. Wow. Deontay, I'm telling you, bro. The Disney's like a monopoly. I'm telling you. They're Disney, just close. basically, they're like um, everything. They own they sports. Have it. Because have they own ESPN2. Thing. So they own sports. I'm telling yeah. you. I'm going to get, get more alcohol. Give me a second. I might yeah. get drunk after this entire <laughs> thing. I'm not going to yeah. lie. No, no, no. I'll continue. I'll continue. I'll continue. I'll be back. I mean, yeah, it's true. What you, what you think? About the, um, everything going on. I, I think it's true. It, there's no, it's, there's no coincidence that Fox and WWE have a deal together. There's no, no, no coincidence. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Disney, much like Disney, Thanos. Disney will take over pretty much half of the world. It's basically going to be Amazon and Disney as the right. top, two top media companies in the world. Okay. And who, who, who buys from them? That's all it is because you're right. A monopoly is illegal. You can't just take over everything. It has to be some type of competition whatsoever. But, whatsoever. That's what but, but it's actually coming to. If, listen, listen, man. And that makes sense why Mr. Man is acting the way he's acting. It makes sense. Because, like, yo, listen, I must get paid. I must get paid. My family is set for generations. For or generations life. are set or for life. A couple of lifetimes. Like, exactly. And think about it. This is a man building. The WWE from where it was to it is now to a global to a global phenomenon to now it's a, the WWE is already a global phenomenon anyway. Yeah, and they got that deal with Saudi Arabia too. Of course, they, they go to Australia. They're, they're every, so honestly at this point, you I, I really think to myself, okay, if WWE gets bought out, how are customers going to respond to that? Do you think that they're going to be afraid because they're going to be like, wait, it's not Vince running anymore. We don't even know what the hell we're going to get. Like, what if that happens? I think maybe it'd be a breath. Of, it can't be like a breath of fresh air for them saying, all right, something different. Let's see where this goes from here. But if I'm WWE and I get bought out and I've been doing the cinematic stuff, I will go listen. Forget the live stuff. Let's push this new CGI. Let's get let's get real crazy with it. Why not? We've been doing the same thing for a hundred years. Let's add a different element to wrestling. Let's not really separate ourselves. They can make that market even bigger. I'm just saying, like, there's so this thing got the pockets. Yeah, we really got the pockets to push wrestling to another, another, another dimension if it needs to. Because we've seen it with the Bray Wyatt, we've seen it with the uh, Undertaker. I think it's going there. It needs to go there. It might, of course. 
But we'll see about because that. Because AEW now has slid in and they go, okay, we can kind of keep the traditional aspect of it. But we now that he needs to become that alternative. Or they're gonna mm-hmm. keep losing value. I mean, it's 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 a tough thing. I think they even like has a mainstay in 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 their in their value. I'm just more worried that if they don't sell out in, in, at the right time, it's not gonna be as profitable. And they're actually predicting that WWE stock is gonna jump up on the third quarter, and they're gonna be back at where they were at 2019 at the end by 2021. Remember 2019 was. 2019 was the most profitable, the most profitable year in this history of the existence. Even right. after that, they were the most profitable year. So you're right. You probably it makes sense, everything like that. But we just can't wait to see what's going right now, especially how oh, I got the angry or oh man, he wants to get lit. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. Anyway, 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 we're gonna have to wrap, wrap this up anyway. But um, got yeah, something got to do after here. But um, yeah, why? Yes. Yeah, I was saying that. Yeah, we were talking about you know if they continue, if they continue in the direction, they are saying that they profit, they predict that it was going to profit. The profit for WWE in 2021 will go up higher than it was in 2019. 2019 was the most profitable year ever in their existence, and, and, and really? yeah, 2019 was the most profitable yeah. year in their existence. And, 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 yep. If I don't listen to news, bro, it's like they're talking about they losing money and all that, but they made the most money ever. So how the yeah. fuck they losing money out of the deal? Yeah, 2019, that was the most profitable. That was the most profitable year, money wise. So they're good, ever. no matter so, what. So. Yeah, the E is bound to actually earn more money this year. The problem has been that part of their profits, like their. So the thing is that the way that the E gets rated is three different ways, right? Evaluations. By the way, the cash I'm on and Orchard free. now. That's the, that's a good ass drink. That shit tastes good. It really is. But continue, bro. Continue. So, their valuation of the company is going to keep going up because they got these deals with Fox, ESPN, mm-hmm. Disney is they're, they're they're a big monster in, in the industry when it comes to entertainment. Yes, they are a monster. Yes. Wow. The thing is, is the cash flow. Disney, I think they eat last year made around two hundred forty million dollars from just ticket sales. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. This is not even Yo. subscription. That's a lot that's of money. So, that's so much money, bro. Gosh. Gosh. Can I have they, it? They were supposed to go even higher. Said, Can I have it? <laughs> They're about to go higher. But now that the whole pandemic happened, I think he hasn't had a live show like in two, three months already. Before WrestleMania, yeah. So it's like it, it it's it's bound to them to for the thing is what's going on too is that this whole situation with Florida, mm-hmm. WE got they got money in that state. And they're trying to get the governor to go, yo, let some fans in. Because apparently that's supposed to happen for AEW and WWE. AEW too, interesting. Okay. So interesting. their idea is that I think Tony, I don't know this is a rumor, that he's going to use the Jaguar Stadium because which it has no room for social distancing. Which he owns, he owns. Which he owns, so he's not losing no profit. Nope. He's actually making profit. I think at some point, Vince might have to make a move Kong, to bro. buy his own... His own property. Low key, I'm surprised, bro, because he owns that whole have... shit. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised he ain't do this yet. Interesting. Bro, he should. He should. There are stadiums that still haven't been destroyed. Like I think the one for the Rangers in Texas, the the one that they just built, the one next to it hasn't been crushed down. Apparently, no, he's still, no, 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 many, no. many. They were using they were using that stadium for the XFL Dallas team over there. That's that's why it's still up. But they didn't they didn't plan on tearing it down. They they, they wanted to use that for like. College, to, uh, local college teams yeah. use that stadium to uh, baseball, basketball, football, and everything. They don't use it like that. that. We'll talk about you college tomorrow, to by the way, because college yeah. ain't looking so good. Uh, <laughs> I that. But I think they could take the I, the thing is that colleges they have their endowments, they have their money, mm-hmm. they can survive a year not having anything on. People are gonna come back. I just don't know if the same ball game is gonna happen for WWE. A lot of their real cash, their real, real liquidity comes, comes from the house from, shows. Comes from the house shows, which they is do. why they do so many of them. But now, they have to figure out how we're going to change that business model. Because if, if this pandemic is another year or two, that's just not going to work. Yeah, they're going to have to start selling their licensing. They're yeah. just going to have to think outside the box and go. Maybe I might have to let go of certain things and make some money to keep my company afloat, which he's been doing. 
And I think here they just hit 1.28 in their projection, which was actually higher than last year. The highest in the last six years. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That is, that's the same. That's I the wonder same. if that documentaries helped, though. Yes. Like from the, from the network? Because over the network, they weren't yeah. so sure of all this time. I wonder right. if that documentaries help for that. I think it has. If they continue to make, if they continue to make like good documentaries, like documentaries stuff like that. Here's the thing: WWE is really good at that. They're really, really oh, yeah. good at making documentaries. True. I saw like five of them. I saw a CM Punk one, a Shawn Michaels one, Triple H one, and a Randy Orton one. They were all good. They were you, all fantastic. If you want to keep, Dragon Dave. If you want to keep like the WWE network for like Pacific, like. One on one contact with wrestlers and you know behind the scenes stuff. I'm okay with that. It's not gonna be worth ten dollars a month, but you can still make money make money from that. I feel you. It is about right. how you market it and everything like that. I think that they've done the far as the WWE Network is concerned right now. They've gone as far as they can go with it. They want it to be like Netflix. Netflix is the best. Is the number one streaming service in the country is in the world. It's not even close. Right. So. I think I think they, they wanted to go with that. They tried it, and it it was a it was a, it was a, it was a, you could say that it was a, a, a success. You could say that you know for what it's done for for the thing. But I think uh, it killed the pay per view. It killed the pay per view business clearly in the process. Trevor, you say you have to go soon. Like when yeah, I came back, I heard that. When you yeah, have to go. yeah, I have to go to yeah, I have to go to yeah. That that, that hurts my feelings. Well, okay. I know, I know. I have to. It's more. I have to do them here in the house and everything. But other than that, we, we can wrap it up in a little second. But it's true. I think if I'm Vincent man, as Anthony said, don't wait too long. Just if you're gonna sell it, just do it. Exactly. Sell, sell it and just do it. And then we can go from there and decide we're gonna do right now. Because think about it, WWE. No one's catching WWE. Nobody's catching them. I don't care what he says. Oh, AEW. But Trevor, if they sell now, they might get. They're gonna get a lot less money if they wait. That's the only thing for WWE side. But because of the pandemic, it puts them in a, it puts, puts them up against the wall. It's like, okay, we might get more money if we wait, but if we wait, we're still losing money. So, you know what I mean? And the thing is, with the E Network, it makes more sense for us to be in prime video. You have so much more content to fill in the spots that other fans may want to do, like go watch a movie or something. Because they're even though you're slipping into Netflix, I think I just watched something. The movie was corny, but my son liked it. Main event. Apparently, it's this kid that turns into a superhero because he puts a mask on, and then he, he goes to NXT to get a, a contract. And now my son thinks he's that kid with a mask. Yeah. They have content that when they figure to their kids, it connects. They're not, they're not stupid. They, they're, they're not the stupid. Kids are the ones. Look it up. And the Miz is like the leading mentor of it. It's weird. So they got some stuff that they've been thinking about long term. At some point, it's like, hey, who wants to buy us out? We're on Netflix. They got some stuff on Prime Video. They got stuff everywhere. Even that whole thing that's slipping into that Disney show with Mandalorian, That's that was a good move. It's like, does it even have to sell out? Can they win no. the store? Because right now, they're the only show on town. AEW is a whole different genre. They really are the show only show on town. And they're going to do really, really well at that, too, but they're not the E yet. They really did benefit from having no sports in general. I will probably, right. yeah. It's That's possible. crazy. I think right now there's a lot more people tuning into wrestling than before. Maybe you may not see the numbers, but when you're on YouTube and you're watching and you're seeing stuff up pop up in the section. And that's what people are not looking at. They're not looking at yeah. other places where they could be watching wrestling. On right. the YouTube channel, they probably got more views than ever. You're probably right about that. They yeah. got like four... 14 mil? Huh, 14 like, million. They were, I'm pretty sure. I don't even know if they were at. Were they even at 10 at the beginning of the year? Do y'all know? Yeah. I don't know. And just look at. I'm not them, so I'll go check. I want to see if, sure. they, if they got up in subscribers, too, because this is a good time to, to, to pile up your online content. Yeah, it is. Really, like, if you have that many eyeballs on your product, you can even license out to get people to buy their, their advertisement. And really start making more money. Yeah. Like, at some point, WWE has to do something outside of just the wrestling part. Outside of just documentary. They, they're very diversified. But it's like, at some point, it's either you buy in more to your product, really diversify, or don't diversify at all and just license everything out. This is, is licensing everything out. Mm -hmm. But at some point, how long is that going to, how long is that going to really going to take you? I don't know. True. 
Yeah. It's like yeah. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan right now is different for him. The dude just got bought out for $100 million. I know, right? Like, yo, his podcast and is... And that's not even crazy. the money that he got put... Apparently, God should, should, uh, should make, um, the guy from uh, 97, I think, The Breakfast Club, he yeah. was saying, they make these deals. Joe got 150 in his pocket already. On top of the 100 million he's about to make the next three years. Like, what the fuck? Yo, Trevor, how long will it take for us to get that far? <laughs> we gotta keep, keep doing what we gotta do. He's been doing this for seven years, though. Keep that in mind with That's Joe true, Logan. that's true. We only got not but even one. So. there's a build-up to it. So when I look at Joe Rogan, I'm like, he just literally just made every podcaster have the ability now to be a millionaire. At least a millionaire. Within five years that they really commit to the company. Especially, especially, um... Pat I'm Mac- looking at it from an economic mindset. Pat McAfee. I'm looking Pat at the numbers McAfee's and I'm like, a yeah. fucking goat. Like, yeah. shit. Like, like his possible. podcast is so good. Exactly. Like, shit. Bro, Him, Bill guy. Simmons, Bill Simmons is a pioneer of fucking yeah. podcasting. I listen to him every day. He's a yeah. beast, too. Like, dog. Like, right. bro, what? Like, shit. Like, but, bro, on, but when you watch your Rogan's content... Even when he puts some retarded writer or whatever, excuse my language, guys. I, I'm not trying to go through it. Like, you know. anyways, what have I been saying the last two hours, bro? Like, come on, you're good, you're good. You can, beep. You can right, say what you. you want. All right, but Joe Rogan could put a, a, a freaking journalist, and it's it's interesting. He got a perspective from every single part of the industry, whether it be sports, whether it be UFC. He was the first person that I learned some stuff about coronavirus from because he had a CDC person be there. He had a scientist about Corona be there, and I learned a little bit about it. It was early though, like I think even before you even got it. Like that's how early it was. But he had a scientist like go online and talk about it in his podcast, like a like a really disease prevention person about the coronavirus. So that's when I learned about the about the Joe Rogan podcast. By the way, I didn't know that existed until that one video, and that video at the time when I watched it. Already had two million views in YouTube, and that was March. So imagine now, when it probably has like seven or eight or nine or twenty. Yeah. Again, Trevor, when we're you getting know, that far, bro. Listen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> you, you, you probably wonder why and why Anthony is frozen. His phone, his iPad is died. So. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? I'm like, yo, why are you saying anything? Yeah, his iPad just died. He's Texas right now, so his <laughs> iPad is died. So I, I, I guess this is a perfect way That's to wrap up. That's a perfect way to wrap up. Wrap, wrap, it wrap is. Up. It really is. Anyway, so anyway, we want to thank Ed um, for joining us. Great guy. We'll, you, you'll definitely see him again on another episode of the Square Circle Podcast. Probably thank you, my brother. Because I'm not going to lie, we really didn't get into much wrestling after the hour. So we got more to say. So we'll yeah, come back course. soon. Probably after Backlash. I think Back. after Backlash, we'll go into it. Anyway, Deontay did a really... Deontay was so passionate today. I'm like, yeah. Was, no, no, no. Like, like, seriously, you were wonderful. Yeah, he was great. Deontay, you were absolutely... You were 68 times better than we were the last time. Because last time, you were laughable. I'm not going to lie. You were horrible. But this time, <laughs> you were absolutely sensational. And I thank you very much. For well, being as good as you were today, you were great, absolutely great. great. So anyway, so let's 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 just tell you people, you know what the fuck you gotta I do. Tell the truth, right? Yeah, you... I tell the truth. I don't lie to people. That's stupid. I, I tell the truth, and I'll tell you the truth. You were great anyway, today. Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. So you guys, if you haven't done it by now. We don't know why you haven't, but if you haven't, I know, right? You no, know, like, share, why subscribe. Aren't you subscribe? Why aren't you subscribe already? You we're, hear that shit? We're great. Dancing you can't say that. Hey, that shit, that's copyright. That is copyright. Oh, what, 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 what he said? I didn't even peep that. What he was, he, he was, um, he was, um, he was, um, um, um the dinosaur. Just, uh, he was a but he doesn't edit his videos that way anymore. But the dinosaur, they're still his. He can, he can sue us. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, and, and I, I actually like him. I like him a yes, lot. Actually, he's, he's great. Funny. He's great. Anyway, like, share, subscribe on iTunes, YouTube, you Spotify. Gonna, you're gonna make I, me put his link on the description now because y'all get scared of getting sued. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Man, I don't want to do all that. Nah, like yeah, iHeart <laughs> Radio, um, Google Play Radio, Stitcher Radio, at Podcast Dynasty on 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 Twitter. And as always, we appreciate you all. We thank you very much Guys, for us. Uh, <laughs> thank I'm y'all, back. everyone. Oh, there he goes. I'm we're back. about to wrap it up because we're already in uh, two perfect. hours, and Trevor gotta go.
My wife is, is calling me, so she wants Oh, me. there you go. There you go. So there you go. So there you go. Perfect timing. Right on time. So anyway, anyway, like I said, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Deontay, for joining us. I love you guys. No problem. Peace. And that is a